turn up the music. If you're wondering whose voice this is, it doesn't take much to guess who it is. Hello there. I am your host for today's live build for Jungle Gym 25. A 25. My name is Lewis, and over here we have PJ, who is currently actively building the bottom expansion for the Genesis PC because Jungle Gym is going with a Genesis. I already see people in chat asking questions and whatnot about PC and stuff. The first thing I want to do, because I'm always on top of you guys, is that tomorrow. Where is it? Where is it? Tomorrow we're going to be announcing the winner of the PewDiePie laptop giveaway. So if you're wondering if you won, we don't know. You don't know, but we're going to find out tomorrow at 3 p.m. EDT, and we're going to be playing Dusk. If you don't know what Dusk is, it's a very retro-style Quake-like shooter, and you shoot a lot of cultists, monsters, and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's going to be a fun stream. Um, I will be running that one. And at the end of the stream, we'll be announcing the winner. So if you haven't been to these streams before, just know we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the stream. But today, we are building a PC for our dearest, a Jungle Gym 2525. Jungle Gym, are you in chat? You should be in chat. Are you on Facebook chat? Or are you in Twitch chat? Where are you? Where are you, Jungle? There you are. Yes. Well, this is for you, my friend. So for those of you who don't know, Jungle Gym has been with us. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to be saying some information. So correct me if I say anything incorrect, Jungle Gym. So, no, you're, all, you're everywhere. Um, Jungle Gym has been a longtime affiliate supporter um, and just involved with Origin PC since 2015. Correct me if I'm wrong. And he's also been with us at shows as well. So he's been a longtime supporter, been supportive of us. And um, he got a PC with us. And we we're like, you know what, Jungle Gym? We're going to build it on stream. You're always with us on stream. So we're going to build your PC on stream. So PJ's here currently working on the Genesis expansion because Jungle Gym went with a Genesis. So let's get into the specs. What is Jungle Gym? Genesis. Let's take a look. So a thousand watt EVGA Supernova G3 power supply, EVGA right sleeved cables. Uh, wait, is it Asus? Yeah, it's Asus. Asus. Pegasus. Asus Z390E ROG Strix Gaming Motherboard Frostbite 360 all in one cooler. Intel Core i9 9900K 3.6 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz max turbo. A single one gigabyte. That's a typo. My bad. 11 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU. A 32 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM. And a lot of storage. I was surprised at the amount of storage is in the system. 512 gigabytes, uh, Samsung M.2 NVMe SSD, 2 terabytes, Samsung 860 Cuvo. This is one of their newer drives. Actually, I'm going to turn the music a little bit here because I feel dead inside. Is that one? Okay. It's Cuvo SATA SSD, if I'm correct. And then the 3 terabyte Seagate SATA HDD. And, of course, wooden crate armor, the warranty and lifetime, USB support and lifetime free labor, and Windows 10. All right, turned on the music a little bit here, so I'm not just alone here. PJ's mic is not on today because he wants to focus solely on the build. So I've been just talking to you guys. No back and forth banter today. But if you guys have questions for me, I will do my best to answer them. Or if you want me to relay some questions to PJ, I can try that too. But PJ is going to be extremely focused because he is a very busy person, as am I, because I have stuff to do too. But what else do we have? We are also running a St. Jude campaign. If you've been following us on social media, you've probably um, been uh, noticing that we've been talking a lot about our St. Jude campaign. So let's take a look at that. So if you go to bit.ly slash OPC play live, number one, I'm going to shout you out if you donate. Number two, there's a whole bunch of opportunities to enter a chance to win a bunch of PC hardware. Let's go ahead and take a look at those rewards, shall we? So over here is a bit.ly slash OPC play live. It's our Delta 5 page. And if you click over here, actually, let me close out the words. You'll see that our stream is actually happening right now. So we're going to get a little uh, inception going on for a quick second. And you'll see that I'm going to spin the mouse over and over and over. So if you go to that site, you'll see the stream. But if you click on rewards, the most important part, actually, hold on. Let me close the stream. Let me stop that. Let me stop this inception stuff. Stop. Um, 
And you'll see all the rewards that we have currently running, including Slime Rancher, Tales of the Neon Sea, which I streamed on Tuesday, Katana Zero, Move or Die, Dusk, which I'll be playing tomorrow, Dead Cells, Ultimate Chicken Horse, Neverwinter, Dead in Vinland, Star Trek Discovery, and uh, at Rage 2. Yeah, Rage 2 is in two weeks, correct? Yes, two weeks. I'm excited for Rage 2. I don't know if you guys are, but we have a uh, Rage 2 thing going on. What's your best budget thing? It is our RTS systems currently, Mr. Waffle. If you want to actually, well, let's jump to OriginPC.com right now. Because guess what, guys? We're going to talk. We're going to spend a little bit of time. PJ, I'm going to move the camera here or hide PJ because he's working on stuff there. Where are you, PJ? Loop. We just launched a upgraded version of our website. Take a look. It's so pretty. Our team has worked, been hard at work on it. Um, it's You got all your stuff here. You got your reviews. You got your testimonials from people who've got our PCs. A bunch of cool information. It's updated. So if you go to originpc.com, it is fully updated. I'm excited about it. But there's our RTS system. So if you click shop now right there, you'll see that these are our budget-friendly options. Jungle Jim coming in with a subscription. Thank you, much. Thank you very much. For the hashtag for the kids. Yeah, there's a new site. And then, of course, this is the, these are the budget options I'm talking about. Uh, granted, you can customize the system with a GTX 1660, which is a extra, extra budget option. But over here at Origin PC, we like that 2060 RTX power, which is what why this neuron has that. Um, What else? What else? And there you go. But uh, later in the stream, we'll go ahead and actually customize a desktop just like Jungle Gems. Actually, we'll go ahead and jump over to... The Genesis page, you can see all of our hard work. Look at that, super powered specs. This is the the Genesis itself has some water cooling, which we're not doing today, but you can get water cooling on your system. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on here. The variable mounting, again, Genesis is one of, it actually, out of, we have, all our desktops are custom chassis. The Genesis is of the big boy, the big one. The one that makes everyone seem very small. Basically, go big, go home. That's pretty much the name of the game with Genesis. And you can find that at OriginPC.com if you want to check it out some more. But let's go ahead and jump over to the build, see what PJ is up to. Speaking of Genesis, he's making some headway on the Genesis expansion. So for those of you that don't know, our Millennium and Genesis desktops are extremely similar. Like, so similar that you can probably not tell them apart, except one's taller and one's shorter. Um, with the Genesis, you get an extra expansion bay, which is what you can see that PJ is currently doing. And with that expansion bay, you can add more hard drives or cryogenic liquid cooling. So when I say cryogenic liquid cooling, I mean that you can actually add massive radiators to the bottom of the expansion and actually get hard line liquid cooling, which you can't get on the other systems. You can get soft tubing on the Millennium, but it's not the same as the hard line tubing, which you know requires extra juice. Um, I was tempted for the water cooling. <laughs> if you did the water cooling, I think that probably wouldn't have gone on the stream. That takes some time and a lot of work. Hard work, I should say, to put that together. Um, what else we got? What are, are there some good specs for a streaming PC? So Double Blue, that's a good question because in the world of streaming today, hold on, yeah, a little adjustment there. There we go. I don't know why. I'm just, my green screen is being weird because we have like a thing around. It's called WebRAM. Anyways, and back to your question. Uh, streaming PC, so you have two options. You can either go with two PCs or one PC because it is possible to do all your streaming on one PC and my recommendation if you do go with a one stream one streaming PC setup is you get a really good CPU that's really the core of it um, or you can go with a two PC setup where one of them is your game dedicated gaming PC and the other one's your streaming PC there's pros and cons to both um, at origin PC we like both methods I mean it is very convenient to do um, everything on one PC because everything is on there so you don't have to worry about turning on two PCs you don't use as much power um, and you really can't do everything on a PC. It's totally doable. Um, the two PC setup which is actually what we use here. Um, actually for not for this stream because we're not like streaming gameplay, but the two PC setup, one PC is dedicated to the games. The other one's dedicated to taking care of the stream itself. Um, but again, to answer your question, I would recommend if you're doing a solo PC, um, i9, 9900K, 2080i. That's a lot of power. That should take care of everything. It should take care of your gameplay. That should take care of your stream. That about covers everything for that. If you're doing dual PC, you could definitely lower the specs on your PC and uh, lower it on the streaming PC, but your gaming PC, obviously, you want to keep a little high up, enough to do 1080p gameplay, of course. 
my budget is really low though so my recommendation would be to look actually the other thing is i mean i'm saying a lot about the high performance stuff because again that's if you want the best of the best stream but you can do 720p uh streaming or 1080p streaming as well with a 2060 gpu and a i7 or i5 but we like the i9 ninth gen around here um i hope i answered the question but again the trick is to see the specs and i know that there's people online that also have their streaming specs online too i know reddit and the twitch subreddit and anything involving streaming they have a lot of good uh, info on that um of course the obvious answer is like oh yeah go with the best specs um but of course with specs we recommend are the best for gaming which take care of streaming on that i know people say oh go with thread or go with xeon that's a little bit of much if you have access to an affordable one sure but if you're spending straight up like straight out of pocket um that's a lot of power that i don't think you need um all right let's see friends of facebook what pc should i buy so i can enjoy games with hd graphics under rs 30k budget rs 30k okay i'm assuming is that russian 30k hold on let me jump over to facebook to see what's happening with our friends over on facebook because that question is a little confusing because our, i'm assuming that's russian because rs 30k could be russian um or rubles i should say not russian sorry sorry my currency is off hold up hold up i'm doing some quick maths here yeah that's uh for that much i would definitely that's really low end so you're eventually <laughs> With that kind of uh, budget, you're definitely looking at probably i3, AMD GPU, and getting very, very low tier parts. I would recommend look going on YouTube and looking for parts that could actually accommodate that budget. All right, some more questions. One more questions. What do we got? RTX 2060. How much is that thing even? BT dubs. So there's sales on them. Um, on our site, we do offer it too. Of course, the price varies. Um, I think the NVIDIA MSRP. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's 300 and 350. So it's around there. How many hours left for the winner to be announced? Uh, I can tell you it's about 25 hours and 38 minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Extremely precise. <laughs> no, that's exact. That counts for the playtime too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Will there be a giveaway today? No. Hello again. How many hours? I already answered that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. We have 25. No, man. It's only one winner. That is a big boy. That is a big boy PC. Sup, man? What's up? It's the big boy. It is. It, this is our biggest case. Um. So, again, the reason we would recommend this case is if you're going for extra storage space um or if you're going to go with hardline liquid cooling that is our recommendation if not the millennium should suit your needs but if you are coming with either stage three yeah hardline hardline yeah bro are you gamers nexus i could be his cousin <laughs> how many seconds i can't tell you that my budget is 1500 what can i get for that so there's a little site called pc part picker we liked um or i know back in the day i like to use pc part picker of course on our site you can get the rts uh, pc um pj is mounting the millennium part of the genesis on top of the genesis expansion bay and you can see he's like putting everything together there but uh pc part picker is a good thing and on our site we have the rts ready to ship system starting at thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars which is exactly that budget and that comes with an rtx 2060 gpu and a ryzen 5 cpu speaking of that um can i do some stuff here let's take a look i'm doing some work stuff i'm doing double work stuff right now if you believe it if you can believe it you don't believe it you don't have to believe it but i am actually doing some work stuff here to my left yeah jungle gym did give us a suitcase full of money is the bottom compartment for fans? It can be. So if you do get the um, the cryogenic hardline liquid cooling stage three, 
uh, we put radiators down there, and that includes fans as well. As you can see there, uh, PJ, can you point out the circles for the fan locations? Like right there, you can actually put the fans in those locations so the airflow can actually go out. Very cool. So it can be. But again, we can also convert it to for storage drives too, because I know there's people out there that can actually treat their Genesis, their PCs, their Genesis PCs as servers. So you can get a whole bunch of yeah, 24 2.5 inch hard drives and SSDs on that system. What is the value of this build today? Off the top of my head, my guess is going to be around 4,500, but uh, the price is a little different. I can go price it on the website, actually, if you want. I just received the letter. Yep, I was right. Around that price. Hey, I'm good. So it came out to 4,800 or so. I was really close. But again, one thing to consider is you get the full Origin PC experience. So you get the support. You get the service. You get the crate. You get taken care of from beginning to end. Make Lewis try spicy stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's trying to get me to try spicy stuff. So, I know PJ's over here. Let me jump over to the other camera because now we got his back there. PJ's currently attaching more attaching stuff. Um, well, who is this PC for? Jungle Jim 2525. And you guys really want me to try spicy stuff on stream? Easy. That's why I say that. Easy. All right. Oops, you need to click on the Google button. Oh. Oh. oh, sweet. I'm in. Cool. Sorry, guys. I'm doing some quick, quick work, quick work. That's weird. Did it not go through? Exclamation one giveaway. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Thanks, Maddie. Boy, I'm going to turn that off. I forgot I had to turn off some of those commands because guess what? That giveaway is over. It is over. You can no longer enter. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, where is this thing? Disable. There are no current giveaways right now. Disable. One movie I was watching yesterday on sci fi. It was just there. But the Doom movie was on sci fi for those of you that. Uh, don't know it. We got a Tiltify donation coming in hot. Hot uh, donations. Brown Wasabi with a $20 donation. Thank you very much, Brown Wasabi. Let me do some expansion here so we can see. Any rewards associated with it? No? I can't tell. Tiltify is kind of weird with that. But again, thank you very much. Um, for those of you that don't know, actually, we have a couple streams, a long list of streams coming up, raising money for St. Jude. We're raising money for St. Jude right now. So if you're interested, you go to bit.ly slash OPC play live, and there's a bunch of options. Actually, let me show you guys the hot sauce stuff that I've been talking about. Well, PJ is getting ready here. So if you go to our site over here, bit.ly slash OPC play live, you'll see in this column, we have something called challenges. This is something new that we just added. We tweak this, I'm tweaking. So if you donate $5 and you click this one, you actually can activate our snap cam and I'll turn on the snap cam and activate some goofy stuff. Put on a wig or a mask, put on a kitchen mitt to play your build. So poor PJ will be dealing with a kitchen mitt or I'll be dealing with a kitchen mitt or, oh, $20 for the bomb beyond insanity hot sauce. That's where that went. So five more dollars and someone's gonna from the team's gonna come in with a bag of chips and the hot sauce. The bomb beyond insanity. If you guys have not tried it, that is extremely spicy. And of course for ten dollars, we eat a the bomb ghost pepper nut. That sauce is so hot. It is. I've had it on stream twice, I think. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Is it once or twice? I think it was once. I don't know. Anyways. A very hot sauce. So if, for five more dollars, you actually boost it up and I'll eat the chip right now. I won't have PJ the chip. He's very focused. I can tell. You guys can tell too if you're watching the stream. We're getting ignored. What's up? Uh-oh. Hold up. Steve86 with a $1 donation. Thank you very much, Steve86. Oh, I'm ignoring you. What was this? I keep getting ignored. What, 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 what am I ignoring? I'm looking through here. You need to be a movie trailer voice guy. Thank you. 
There's a Barracuda. Who is that hunk making the computer? That is PJ Zimbleman. And PJ's moving the camera around so he can show, he's showing the hard drive off. That's a three terabyte, correct? Yeah. You can't really see it on the camera, but that's a three terabyte. How many people work for Origin? A lot. Got people in the back, people in the front, people in the bathroom. <laughs> Taste the hot sauce, Lewis. All right, I hope I... Isn't this like paying your guy to suffer for our entertainment? Yes. For the rewards, is it tiered or unique? So they're not tiered. Um, the rewards on bit.ly slash OPC play live are raffles for the most part. Pretty much everything in the reward category are all raffles. Although a little birdie told me that if you donate for certain games, a raffle might be immediate because they've already happened. That's all I gotta say. Maybe. <laughs> so, yep, yep. So there's no tiers. The challenges are different because those are things that you can actually impact us on stream, including the sap cam filter, the bomb hot sauce, and all the fun stuff going on in that front. So if we get to five more dollars in the bomb Beyond Insanity hot sauce, I will actually eat a chip with that. And actually, I'm curious. I want to see if you guys can actually just keep me eating and then I'll just throw up on stream. I don't know. <laughs> just eat a bunch of chips that are really spicy. Okay, where are we at? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many sauces does a neuron have for storage? A five, five storage drive. Is this employee abuse? Possibly. How did you come by Origin PC? So I'm from Miami. Actually, a long time ago, I encountered Origin PC at the local convention. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know there's a PC company in Miami. And then, you know, lo and behold, uh, the stars aligned and there was a job that matched up my background. And I went for it. And now I'm here. The end. What's the case? Genesis. Origin PC Genesis. 89% waiting for the PC giveaway. Hey, man. Tomorrow. Um, hmm. Exclamation point GPU does not work because that giveaway has ended. All the giveaways have ended. There's actually no giveaways happening right now. What do you know? What do you know? Mark76 asks, I have an Origin PC from about three years ago with a 7700K and a 1060 GTX. I want to upgrade the graphics card to an RTX 2080, but 650 is a minimum power supply. Should I just go for RTX 2070? I'm a bit nervous about changing out the power supply. So, Mark, so you have multiple options there. Um, uh, we don't know. He didn't mention in the question the kind of power supply. Yeah, he, he said the minimum is 650, but he said he's nervous about changing out the parts. I'm assuming he probably got a 500. My That's my assumption. Um, hold on, let me shout out this donation from Iodine. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Iodine? Iodine? A-O-D-O-I-N-E. I'm, I'm mispronouncing. I always try my best. But a $30 donation from Iodine. I'm going to say it that way. Iodine. Thank you for your $30 donation. Um... Where did you put it to? I'm assuming it's one of our hardware raffles because we have a GPU and a CPU giveaway. Let me go back to answering. I have a 650 watt, watt supply. I, that power supply should be fine. Yeah, but it depends on what power supply he got. Because he got it from us. He got it from us. I don't know. I don't know. Is it EVGA or Corsair? Um, Marks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to answering the question. But from Fear Rises, just donated $15. I need more storage for games. Lil. Entering, I'm assuming, the SSD raffle giveaway thingy that we're running thank you from fear rises appreciate your donation and uh, we wish you luck um let's go back to answering that question so again if you got an evj or evj or corsair right yes. yeah so if you have a modular power supply it's actually pretty easy just unplug everything and put it back in but if you contact our support team they would be more than happy to also assist on that as well um because replacing the gpu is really easy but the power supply is to again totally understandable it's a little trickier yeah Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Where is it? 
Not that big on RPG, not in the system. 650 EVGA. So yeah, you have the EVGA when it's modular. So all you have to do is just unplug. Well, obviously turn off the system, make sure there's no power left in the system. Um, grind yourself and then remove all the the cables and then they should be marked. So it tells you where to, to put them in. I know PJ's talking, but you guys can't hear him. <laughs> I'm listening to him. I'm trying my best to help out with that question. And again, our support team, if they know your system better than I do because they have all the information in the store in on the servers. So, but yeah, it's not that tricky. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Brown of a Sabi. You are correct. And there's guides online too, but our support team, again, more than happy to help. Um, does, hold up, hold up, where's the question? How long does it take to build an Origin Genesis with cryogenic hardline cooling? A while. A while. <laughs> PJ says a while. My guess is either five hours or more. Does that sound all right? A while. A while. A while. Does the Neuron RTS come with RGB light? I'm assuming lighting. No, it does not. I know we did a giveaway system, and that was a unique one because we included RGB lighting, but the Neuron RTS does not include RGB lighting. You have to add it yourself. All right. Put the DM on. All right. Hold on. Talk. Talk. Turn it on. Again? On. There you are. No, I'll talk. Yeah, that's a PJ. I'll talk. That's PJ. He's talking now. He didn't want to talk, but now he's talking. <laughs> Get me to talk. Okay, guys, can I get a free PC? The short answer is no. The long answer is if we did that and we gave everyone who asked that question, we'd go out of business within one, no, 30, no, 10 minutes easy how do you enter the giveaway you cannot enter a giveaway because there is no giveaway the giveaway is over the giveaway is over but this does put a smile on my face pj's making noises um fcw watashi i'm gonna go with the no because i think the marketing email is the best way to do that. PJ with the sound effects. Uh, let me put down the the volume because we've got the drill involved. But if PJ does start talking, I will remind myself to up the volume. Was the last giveaway winner announced already? So we do have two previous winner announcements, and both of them have actually been confirmed. Um... Let me see if I can find the images and I'll... Where are the images? I have them on this computer. Um, I'll get you their info. Do, 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 do. And it was both on a play stream. It was on Katana Zero. The uh, Timac RTX giveaway winner is at Brutank Gaming. And that was via Twitter. So he won that one. That was confirmed. We shipped his GPU out. And the other giveaway winner... Which one was it? I can't remember which stream it was. Not tabs, not that one. Here we go. And this one was, hold up. GZT3K with a G. Those are two previous ones. That was a brick black one. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Are there any other jobs besides marketing manager? If not, I'm still happy to apply. Danny Boy, we actually, there is another for customer service manager. Speaking of which, for those of you curious and are in the Miami area, that's a long shot, but we do have some career stuff on our website. Go ahead and jump to it. Where is, where am I going? Over here. You're going to see a wall of text, but there's that position. And then we also have the customer service manager position. This one was opened up recently. But if you have experience of customer support, you want to join our team. So you want to be the ones helping out the people on the phones with technology. Go ahead and check it out. Careers at originpc.com. You can also check it on the website, too. If you go to more and company, it's right there. It's a little shout out to our careers page. Oh, so much drilling. Will there be future build with AMD products? We try to. Um, we did one for Scythe. Um, I don't. I think you were in that one, 
Brown Sop. I'm trying to remember if you you were actually in that one. But we did one for Scythe, and that was all AMD. That was really cool. How many lulls for a free PC Kappa? Too many to count. What will be the next giveaway soon? Is NV linked use for dual RTX 20 ATIs? Yes. That's not... It's like, it, NVIDIA is weird. But yeah, that's the new SLI, essentially. It's not the same, but yeah, that's pretty much it. What's up? That was horrible. What happened to all the PewDiePie giveaways? They ended. We're announcing the win tomorrow. I have comp Tia, certs, and BS, BSC in management. Ooh, cool. Congratulations. The PC and laptop. The PC one is done. Laptop, we're announcing the winner tomorrow. New website update is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. A sexy case. It is. It's very tall. You gotta be careful. Like, I'm terrified of these tower, like giant tower PCs because imagine if like it tilted and fell over. That'd be horrifying. Bye, Lewis and PJ. Hopefully, Origin gives you guys a raise, Kappa. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> PJ. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. So that is, I believe, it for the case. Is that correct, PJ? The case is good to get prepped. Yeah, the case is prepped. Now I'm just going to build it. Awesome. So again, this is our Genesis. Normally, we don't do the Genesis on a stream. It's either the Neuron or the Millennium. But the Genesis, again, is a taller system, and that bottom bay area is used for hold. As far as if it's going to be like a time consumption based thing, since we're like, we try to do the streams within like a, what is it, a two to three two hours? Two, yeah, two, two hours. Three, two to three hours, power. depending on what it is. I might prep it and already have it done before we start the build. So mm -hmm. when we start the build, it's already done. But in this, in this case, I got caught in the middle of doing it. Let's go ahead and. Turn down the volume. The motherboard's coming out. There's the RG Strix Asus motherboard. Last question here. What is the best color to get the Genesis case, in your opinion? So that's a tough one to answer because I've seen them in person, and they're really cool because we have different colors. White pops the RGB colors very well. PJ says the white one makes the color pop, but I disagree. You like red everything. <laughs> I do like red. All red everything. But this is a good opportunity to show off the new site here uh, for a little bit. Because we did update the site, it's not just the way it looks, it also behind the scenes, we did some cool stuff. So let's take a look. So here's our new site. There's the Genesis right there. So you can actually choose the site panels. Um, you can use tempered glass, aluminum, 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 tempered glass, tempered glass, but for this one, we'll just stick to the tempered glass and aluminum side. Um, the exterior color. So we actually have some base colors, red, gray and blue so blue is actually really cool i think this blue doesn't really quite match it in my opinion but it's kind of like a little lighter shade that looks super bright but that was really cool um i like red though red's cool the interior color you can also modify as well I like red. hey man hey man i like red you have a red car all red everything yeah man i would have took my car in any color i found it in as long as it <laughs> dang <laughs> I like red. Um, you can change the internal color as well. So I like red everything. So we'll go with that one. Looks really cool. You can't change the, the color of the top panel because I believe that's magnesium. Is that correct, PJ? Or what material is that on top? The, the finish? No, the top part right there where the slidey part is. Uh -huh. Is that plastic or what is it? Plastic. It's plastic. Okay. It's not magnesium. I'm here thinking like car stuff. Of course, you can also add HDUV glass printing, which you can see right there. We got the nice origin device panel right there. And then laser etching. You can do that too. What's interesting is uh, paint isn't on here, but normally you put paint in and out. But those are your options for colors. I do like red though. That's my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. Everyone has different opinions on colors. I like red. So, hey man, red. Um, and of course, besides the PC itself, this is the new uh, way to customize your PC. It's actually really clean now. You can actually see all the the key components and selecting what you want. So you can modify that. Actually, let's go ahead and build Jungle Gym's PC since we're here. We might as well do it, right? We're here. Let's just... You gonna get a virtual finish of what I'm doing? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, let me turn on the camera so you guys can see what PJ is up to, too, because I hit him. He's hidden. You cannot see him. There he is. Well, I was there. There you go. So you can see the, the the build right there, and I can continue working on it. Yep. What else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to turn this thing off. What is this? 
What are you doing here, Logo? No, get out. Get out, Logo. Nobody wants you. There. Better. Shoo shoo. All right, so we got the i9-9900K. There it is. It's easy as click on it. You select it there. But if you want AMD, you can also go AMD as well. It's selectable between these two tabs. So we'll go with the Intel option. We got pick that. Pick the motherboard. And we got the Asus ROG Strix. That's the one we're running. The memory, we got 32 gigabytes of 3,000 megahertz. For cooling, we got that one. For system cooling, we got the 360. The GPU RTX 2080 Ti. Blam. Operating system, hard drive cage, operating system drive. We got the NVMe. Uh, I believe it was the 512. There it is. That one. That's the operating system drive. And then storage drive, which we can go crazy with. Um, let me go ahead and turn on the mic because the stuff is happening there um it was a one hold on me look i have the specs right here what am i doing what am i doing guys what am i doing okay two terabyte samsung 2.5 where is it two ter aha there you are select you um and then it was also a seagate three terabyte three terabyte three terabyte where is it where is oh here it is there you go. I believe that was a full hard drive. Yep. Right there. Perfect. Um, there's all of that. We've got the power supply. We got the thousand watt. Oh, yeah, and then we uh, what's not included in the spec sheet in the image is the external. We added a capture card and also a sound card, which are here. So we got this thing, and then we also added which one was it? Um HD 60 Pro. There it is. That's super accurate. That, that actually lines up with the price. Almost very close. I think I might have missed something. But that's pretty much it. There's the system. And all very easy. I'm really impressed with this new uh, website. So if you guys want to check it out and mess around with it, you don't have to buy the PC. You just mess around with it. Um, I would appreciate it, number one, because if you find something really weird, please let us know over Twitter or an email. Greatly appreciate that. Um, but also just mess around. Give us some feedback, too, because this is a new and improved method of customizing pc very clean very very clean pj have you seen the new site i haven't had a chance to play on it yet but it, I, I have seen uh a little bit of it looks looks nice very thank clean you. thank you shout out to our web team for that and the behind the scenes over in product group and it it was a team effort um and i helped on the pages too no you didn't so no you didn't pdp pdp i helped you did not. I was like, stop. If this was no, like the team, no. I was like, like not a key player, but not. I was still a part of the team. So, no, hey weren't. man. You were like, you were in the background bringing them water and stuff. Wow. Call me the water boy. Go get the water out of the cooler. Jim, what's the case? All the motherboard looks good. That is the Origin PC Genesis. It's a very tall case. Actually, I'm gonna go jump over to the dimensions because I keep talking about like how tall it is. Um, you want to see my work? I'll show you guys my work because PJ is discounting my hard work. Super powered specs. I don't discredit your work. Maximum you customization. Not on the back end stuff, the front end stuff. Like all these words, I have to do a lot of tweaking to make it easier for people to understand. You get variable mounting. You get front-facing armor. Your build is our command. That's a fact. And look at all these cool things you can do. Two-way SLI, which is an NV link. 120 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, up to an 18-core Intel i9. Threadripper, there's a PC. The chassis, which is steel gray server grade. Um, the panels, the top panel, Windows 10. Gotta give them a shout out. And the bottom expansion, we can add two. Maximum cooling. Of course, all the cool customization that you can do too. And lighting, RGB lighting. And there's even a 3D model thing in here. So cool. Tiltify donation coming in from Crimson Highway with a $5 donation. Here's to helping kids. Thank you very much, Crimson Highway. 
Um, very good. You guys are doing awesome this stream. Greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you, thank Crimson you. Highway. From Fear Rises, Aduin, Steve86, and Brown Wasabi. Um, yeah, look at this cool 3D model. Wow, we're in the future now, guys. There's a 3D model for everything. You see the... It's like low res. It's like a PlayStation game, but it looks cool. At least you can see the PC on their site. Again, very cool stuff. The team have knocked it out of the park. You can mess around with it and take a look. What I even tells you to click on it to like the parts right there. It's very cool. We can check out OriginPC.com. This again, this is all brand new, so we're we're happy with it. We'll be, I'll be talking about it in future streams, most likely in live build streams like this one, because it's really cool to show off the site when you're you know talking about the PC that PJ is building. But there it is. Since when there is 18 core thread over? Since for a while, I believe that's a 2950X. Uh, I'll confirm that for you. Hold on. Real quick, I'll, real quick, I'll take a look. They want you to scorch your mouth, Lewis. They do, they really do. They really do. What, did someone donate the $5 for it already? Yeah. For real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of them did. Oh yeah, we taste the bomb Beyond yeah. Insanity hot sauce. We taste the bomb Ghost Pepper Nut. You guys actually did it, congratulations. Jungle Jim coming in with another a donation, $10. Enjoy the double hot stuff. Hashtag for the kids. Oh man, I have to eat hot stuff. PJ doesn't because he's working, but since I'm the one here yabbering my mouth, I could, but I don't want to. Yeah, but I'm here jabbering my mouth. I have to shut myself up, right? Your mouth yabber. Yep, yep, yep. Before I get to the eating of the hot stuff, man, I thought I was gonna make it without even have to eating hot spicy chip and all that stuff. Hmm. <laughs> nope. I think that's 16 core. No, I see. Got to fix that. You right? Yeah, the 16 core is a 2950X. You right? You right? You right? You right? That was a typo. It's on the professional side. We have the 18 core and more. And I will show you the professional side. It's a fun fact. We do have professional PCs, so I know we talked about all about gaming. We love games. I love games. Um, but we do have professional systems actually if you go take a look in our customization section it's a little bit different because this is a different kind of thing you can actually change up the case and uh, mess around with it some more but we'll go with the genesis case and go from there it's in continue customize it there but we'll take a look at the cpu and you'll see the cpu options are a little different just a little bit there so then to the core you can have 18 core there and the amd we support a little bit more 24 core and 32 core thread ripper yeah, there's no 18 core. That was a typo. You're correct. But yeah. Again, professional's a little different because we do offer higher end options on the professional side. Anyways, um The time has come for spicy stuff. Again, you guys did it, so uh thank you. They bring you water at least? No. <laughs> they don't care about me. They don't care about you at all. All right, first one up is the see-through the bomb hot sauce, which now I'm making myself disappear because it's a green bomb. But these are ghost pepper nuts. Um, PJ wants one. No, <laughs> I don't have a green screen. Oh yeah, PJ does not have a green screen. There it is. Uh, open it up. Show the people what's inside. There it is. So I'm gonna be eating some of those spicy nuts. Very spicy. Oh. Gimme. Oh. Well, Gimme. I, I cleared my sinuses. Thank you. Okay. This is the fr I'm not even this is like it's not just the the peanut. It's also the um, the chip which is very stressful. It's not just but. the peanut chip. I heard a lot of why. Eat the chip. Eat the chip. So now it's not eat the poop, it's eat the chip. These nuts are hot. They are hot. They're good though. You know what? I'll even sneak in a second one. Just for you guys. They're so good. Oh man. Mmm. Yeah, there you go. Two for one. For 20 bucks, you'll eat a handful. Oh yeah. Oh man, that is spicy, but though. It's good. Alright. Enough of that. Thank you again for your donations for. The spicy, but now we gotta move up a level because you know how in hot ones they kind of move up in level This is like here and then the hot sauce is like straight up the the thing. Okay, so that was child's play 
this is the real deal again it's see-through because it's green it's a green bomb but this is beyond enhanced insanity i'll say ham sanity insanity hot sauce if you're familiar with hot ones this is the third to last one that they use in the show so we were very specific about which hot sauce to use on our stuff or on for the streams and this is i believe i want to say the second or the third time i'm doing this on stream and i can tell you right now like it's different from doing the live build because i have to talk a lot because when i did for when i was playing katana zero it was easier because i was focusing on the game i was really invested into the game this is a little different you can see i'm doing like a lot of uh, mouth breaths because of the the nuts but it's okay it's okay we're cool you i'm here just shaking the, over there? i'm doing like these exercises just shaking the bottle so i can get a good mix of it before we open it up this is what's inside this thing habanero peppers which is habaneros and salt chipotle 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 puree chipotle's water salt citric acid water orange juice concentrate why? which is very know. interesting Never read the ingredients. Now you tell me orange juice. I'm like, why the hell is there orange juice? Natural pepper flavoring, tomato paste, potassium sorbate, you and sodium benzot. You know what I will do? What? I'll help you out with one of those chips. You're going to eat one? No. Oh. Chip. <laughs> oh, you said a chip. You just want the chip. You don't want the hot sauce. Yeah. What do you think? I'm silly? I'm silly like that? That's for you to do. And Talking the nutritional cream. facts, or nutrition facts, one tablespoon, which I have not eaten one tablespoon, I'm only eating like a little drop on a chip, is five calories and a lot of sodium, well, not really a lot, 40 milligrams, and then one carbohydrate, and then two vitamin C, because it does have orange juice inside, fun facts, did you not know, orange juice inside the bomb. All right, now we're talking. It's time. So for our chips option today, um, as here I am as I continue talking, trying to delay the inevitable, um, we have a Costco across the street, and they make these organic tortilla chips. So shout out to Costco. Fire, these are really good. We actually we've eaten like the entire bag, just cause. It's because the chips are so good. All right, let me. I'm gonna get a big one. All right, no, that's that's too small. Hmm. There we go. These are really good. Everyone talks some trash about Costco, but these are good. Anyways. Here's the chip. Here's the bomb sauce. So you guys know this is the actual one. Like we don't why would we fake this? I don't know, that's mean. The thing is, like, that's going to stay inside the bottle, and you don't want to mess with this bottle. So, I'm doing this very carefully, because, again, if you touch this sauce, you want to be careful about what you touch, especially your eyes. You don't want to touch your eyes after touching this thing. Try to do it on camera so you guys can see that I'm not bluffing. This is the real deal. Oh, gosh. It's bluffing, guys. Make him drench that chip. <sighs> I'm very concentrated trying to get too much. Oh, man, that's a lot. Oh, this is a... Thick yes. boy. Yes, you messed up. Thick Let me boy. See. Let me see. A little thick boy. And we gotta clean it up there. Oh, let's clean it up by adding more. Let's do that. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh. I thought that's a good one, right? I'd say drench it. PJ says drench it. You can kind of see through the chip though, which is kind of funny. But there it is. Two drops. But you know what? Not two drops. Who wants to do two drops? No, we gotta do three drops. Oh man, what am I doing to myself? This is a bad idea. I'm gonna. Re oh no, what have I done? Sweat it out. Four drops. <laughs> All right. Now I need to say like some kind of like last words. Cause here I am. I always talk a lot of smack. Oh, hot sets. It's nothing. This stuff will beat you up. Be a man, cover the chip. We don't want to use up all the hot sauce, though, because... Be a man. I, mean, I can spread it out, though. I like that I excuse spread it out. there. We don't want to waste it all. <laughs> Ooh, that is we hot. We want to save it for other people to try to just a chip. I'm just delaying this, Trench if chip. you guys have noticed. I'm just, like, delaying this so long. Oh, man. PJ, you ready? Yeah, ready. One, two, three, go. Yeah, you're not eating the chip. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Look, see, look. Hey, chip. <clears throat> you want 
water. Mmm. Mmm. Milk. <coughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> oh man. All right, now I'm gonna compulsively eat chips because that is really hot. <clears throat> that is more than normal. I'm rethinking my life decisions and my mouth is going numb. Like a little baby cry you did. <clears throat> Man up. Uh, That's a weird noise you made. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, appreciate it if you I can't do my song. I love, love, love. Continue the build. Uh, ah! We're gonna need somebody to come oh, man. And talk for Lewis. Four drops. What was I thinking? You were thinking like a man. <sighs> Dude, I've done one drop or two drops. Oh, that's the noise. You're awesome, Lewis. Hashtag for the kids. <laughs> ah! My left eye is crying. I don't know how. Like my left side of my face. <clears throat> that was more than normal, dude. This song is how I feel right now. Because you hear like, yeah! That was me. The heaviest metal tune. Is <laughs> right now, is <laughs> the heaviest metal tune is like going off your hair right now. Anyone there? I guess. How be Kuzi? I think he's doing good. Have Lewis. you talked to him, PJ? Yeah, I messaged him the other day. He's doing well. Yep. We all miss him. I'm sweating now. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to tell you, dude? Dude, you're just losing it over here. You're just laughing at my suffering. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, man. Where are we at with the challenges? Did you reactivate them? Oh, there we go. So if you donate $25 more, sweat it out. Lose I can eat pounds. another one of these things. Why not, right? I'm just sweating it out. If you oh, donate man. 100 he'll drench the chip. A hundred, I'll drink the chip. I won't be able to like come into work tomorrow. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. Woo! Oh man. <clears throat> well, this is a good moment to shout out the fact that. Um, speaking of which, next Tuesday, uh, we're gonna be doing a stream with uh, Hot Wings. Mm, hot wings. Um, like Hot Ones. <clears throat> kind of similar to Hot Ones. But we're not making the wings ourselves. We're going to be using Buffalo Wild Wings. And um, we're going to be going from, like, easy to the blazing. And then we're th I'm thinking about getting the Dragon Fire sauce, too. Because I heard that was really spicy. Dragon. Whew. Um, who won the giveaway? Um, good question. We're going to announce the winner tomorrow during our Origin PC Play stream uh, where we're playing Dusk. And uh, at the end of the stream... We're gonna be playing. Uh, I'm, playing I'm just. I'm just fumbling on my words. Remancing the winner for the PewDiePie US 16s laptop. Oh man. Are you questioning your life? It's getting better. The thing is, it's such a strong like kick when you do that much. Yeah, I know. Remember I dabbed it yesterday the other day. I just dabbed the back of it. 
My whole body like turned into like a cesspool of sweat. All I did was just like. Eh. Buffalo Wild Wings is so low compared to the bomb. Well, hold your breath because we still have the bomb sauce. And if people do donate during the stream, I'll keep eating <laughs> chips. See how you made me suffer? You can make four people suffer during that stream. And I'm the host for that. So. <laughs> He's gonna be eating them again. Oh, yeah. Do you know who's screaming right now? I know it's Jerrica and Sydney are probably screaming, like, what do you mean? We're not gonna eat the bomb sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. If someone donates a good amount of money, oh, yeah. you guys are eating the bomb. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> hey. In their heads, every person that donates, they were just gonna sit here and watch you eat a chip. Uh uh. No. I'm like a mess. This side of my face is like a mess. But I think it survived. It survived the bomb. If you guys wanna continue making me suffer, um, if you go to <laughs> this website, <laughs> I say this so sad. <laughs> like I'm gonna cry. If you go to bit.ly slash OPC play live, you'll be entered or you'll visit our Tiltify page for our St. Jude play live campaign. Our goal is $10,000, but our super goal is $20,000. So that'd be awesome. Actually, at $20,000, Jericho and Brian both get tattoos. Hey. But here's our rewards. So besides torturing me and whoever's on stream with hot sauce, um, you can enter for a chance to win games. And I've, I went over the games before, but you can. Oh, heck up there. Um. You can enter for a chance to win a HyperX Pulse, Pulse Fire mouse, a HyperX Fury RGB 960 gigabyte SSD. It's pretty good. That's big storage. Riser Siren. Mike for a $20 raffle ticket. <clears throat> Aster A50 headset. Uh, $20 raffle ticket. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Infinity GeForce <laughs> RTX 2060 raffle for $30. An Intel Core i7 9700KF. CPU for a $40 raffle. Again, these are raffles. So you'll be entered for a chance to win these um, hardware products. And for $100, you can actually get a case. A chance to win a case, I should say. It's be very specific. That's the one I got sit back, sitting back there at my desk. Yep. That's it. Um, but besides there. the rewards, you can also impact your stream by um, activating our snap cam with $5, putting or having me put on a wig or a mask for $5, put on a kitchen mitt to for the live build they're playing. If you guys donate $24 and you select this thing, Right here under challenges, I'll eat another of those de demonic chips. And then for $10, I'll eat some more pepper pepper nuts. Oh my gosh. You know that this reminds me of, this reminds me of the time I was trying to be like, like, oh yeah, I can eat a bunch of hot wings. I can eat 10 of them. You remember Sports Grill? The Sports Grill in Miami, PJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, remember the Miami Heats? Those are good. Those are good, but they were spicy. Not like the bomb spicy. Not the bomb spicy, but when you eat them in succession, they add up. And there was one time I was eating so many of those wings, and, I, and the stains like went over my mouth. Like I was smiling, and I went to the bathroom to like clean up, and I was like, <laughs> I look like the Joker right now. <laughs> I'm just like, why oh, so serious? <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay. How you doing over there, Lewis? I'm chilling. Yeah? Where's Mr. Beast giving away money somewhere? I don't know. But yeah, there's our St. Jude Play Live campaign. Um, again, those of you that donated during the stream, again, thank you very much. I appreciate it, all of you, for making me suffer. Kids. <sighs> I'm here like... I like this challenges thing better. Cause it definitely makes it a little bit more entertaining because basically every time we hit $25 we just up it um so it's like every $25 increments we're just gonna eat more of those demonic chips and hot sauce you keep talking about it like you want somebody to donate more money so you can keep eating oh yeah just giving me some more but the thing is I messed up on that one I put four drops when normally I eat one or two well now that you already put four you should just up the ante and go five everybody knows you can do four drops Silence is golden. Oh, man. What kind of hot sauce? So this is the bomb hot sauce. Again, this is this. If you've seen hot ones, this is the third to last one. 
and normally in the show it's like the one that gets the most reaction out of the celebrities um i know that scarlett johansson had a good reaction Shaq had a really good reaction Gordon, everyone that goes on the show always has a good reaction to the bomb so it's a good hot sauce i mean i feel like if you add this like to a to a broth or like a soup oh man or like a, a ramen oh man this would drop because thing is you drop it and it's gonna mix in and it's gonna increase the heat this is good for like one drop but if you put a lot i can what i cannot imagine is a chicken wing that's baked in this stuff that's where i'm like oh man i can't because uh, imagine that's a lot i say soak it in the hot sauce Like that, huh? PJ, where are you at? Are you wiring stuff up? Yeah. Let me swapped over to the other camera. I'm wiring stuff up. Oh, my Tommy. Have a great day, Brian Wasabi. Thank you for tuning in and for participating and for donating. 50 bucks and it goes up your nostril. Hey, man. Whoa. That's, that's a bad idea. I can tell you right now, a, that's, that's stuff. A bad idea, and B, you're gonna have to pay me a lot more than fifty bucks to do that. No, man. Imagine if I, imagine what it does to your mouth and to your stomach. Because every time I eat this stuff, let's just say your digestive system increases speed. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Ew. I know, right? Um. Yeah, that hot sauce stuff just. But I'm looking forward to Tuesday stream. So this Tuesday, if you liked what you saw with me suffering, guess what? You're going to have four people suffering. It's me great. Um, we're going to have them sitting around the live build table and um, reacting as they eat uh, wings while doing trivia. This tomorrow? Tuesday. Wings. So, but uh, Jungle Jim is right. Um, now, Buffalo Wild Wings wings aren't too, too spicy, but some of them are hot. When you go to the wild category... Um, those wings are actually legitimately like spicy spicy like those are the ones like oh man that's pretty hot blazing is up there um especially if you do the blazing challenge i know a lot of people are like, oh that's really easy it's a laser blazing blazer blazing um but the thing is the people that are eating these wings are people that do not normally eat hot stuff right so for them um that's an experience for them again these are our um Hot sauce, uh, Padawans. I'm like a hot sauce knight because you know in Star Wars I like Jedi Knight, Jedi Master, and Padawan. I'm like a knight. Yeah. These are the Padawans eating buffalo wild wings, and I'm here. I'm I'm taunting them with the, the bomb, and I'm really gonna. I'm really gonna put push chat to donate to get the bomb wing or hot sauce on the last wing. Can you answer, please? Did I miss a question? Can I pay you with pounds if I buy a PC? Yeah, uh, if you go to originpc.com, we accept, um, what do we accept? Forms of money. Oh, we accept all forms of a money. A money. We can't pay me directly. You have to go through the website. You pay me directly if you want. <laughs> you can pay, no, you cannot pay in Bitcoin, contrary to uh, how Bitcoin is like all over the place and all that stuff. What am I looking for here? Hello? Is it me You're looking? The Origin PC site is laggy and confusing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Rockcrafts. Can you be a little more specific? Because if you're more specific, I can let our team know. I know it's laggy because we're still a comment. We just moved to a new server. But for the confusing part, just let me know, and I'll uh, take and make note of it and uh, send it to the team because I work closely with that team. Again, I'm not the one that does the changes, but I can let them know stuff. I was going to ask if you've tried a hot sauce, but the chat won't post my message all well. Is it one of our banned words? <laughs> we have a couple of banned words, but we're going to lift the ban on Monday. Um, we're going to lift the ban? It's about Avenger stuff. So we have some banned words for Avenger stuff. Because not everyone's seen the movie yet. We've seen the movie, though. It's really good. That's all I'm going to say about it. What do you think about the movie, PJ? I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I was pleased. It was a, it was, it was closure for me. I yeah. was content with how it ended. What up, turret? Cried. Is I by power? No, I by power is not banned. You just wrote it right there. 
I laughed, I cried, I'm seeing it again Saturday. I'm looking to try to see it again this weekend, too. It was really good. Um, it's a hot sauce that has 33.7k Scoville units. 33 what? Million or a thousand? Thousand. 30, 33, 337,000. 337,000. Oh, now I know what's banned. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what's yeah, I, so originally, so fun fact, uh, before the movie, we had a stream like the day before the movie came out, and I made sure to book put spoilers for like everything that could possibly happen in the movie and then finally when the movie came out I'm like okay those aren't the actual spoilers i need to like pick the ones that are actually spoilers so yeah i was trying to i'm trying to be considerate for the people that haven't seen the movie yet because actually fun fact a long long time ago in a galaxy far far away for the last jedi uh twitch chat actually spoiled the movie for me Thanks, guys. <laughs> I know it wasn't you guys, but uh, it was funny because I'm, I'm, we were doing a stream and Twitch chat just lighting up with Last Jet Jedi spoilers, and I'm like, no. Grant, no matter how you feel about the movie, whatever. But um, it sucked that people just spoiled the movie straight up. I hadn't seen the movie I either. Yeah, gotta rush. Yeah, uh, be careful because the director said that they're lifting the ban on spoiler talk, like public spoiler talk, on uh, Monday. So, yep, yep. Be careful, man. Spoilers are gonna go in full effect on Monday because people are gonna be publicly talking about it, like on like ABC and major mainstream act uh, yeah, man, places. Yeah, man, you need like a week to watch the movie. Maybe you don't watch it in the week. Yeah, they're I'm giving like... people a week. They're giving until no next Monday. So, I think that's plenty of time. Granted, I think this movie's gonna be in the theaters forever. <laughs> Just because of the impact. Death Nectar hot sauce. There you go. Yeah, you figure it out. There you go. Yeah, that sounds delicious. That's so, I'm going to look it up. Death Nectar Yeah, hot because sauce. I've always wanted to try something that started with death. Oh, man. When I was in Nashville... Is this it? No, this isn't it. But in, in, I was in Nashville, and they had this hot sauce store. And there's one that you had to sign a waiver before you buy it. And I'm like... We're not responsible if you scorch the insides of your body out of trying this sauce. <laughs> that was a really cool story. I like that story. It was we are a... not responsible if you spontaneously combust. I know. Oh, man. Death Nectar Hot Sauce. I'm looking it up now. Oh, this is, bar is this a barbecue sauce? Death ne Nectar is like no hot sauce we've ever had with 33 or 337,000 Scoville units. Brings the heat. Oh, man, that's up there, dude. That's that's more than the the bomb. Um, the flavor. So that's a good flavor. We are not joking when we say this sauce is hot. It is not intended for those under eighteen the year. Wait, wait. It is not intended for those under the eight, eight under eighteen years of age or those of any age that just can't handle the heat. What? Do you want to die? Basically. That sounds good though. Oh man. Oh, those specs are incorrect. Sorry about that. Uh, call me Eva. Uh, let me put up the specs for you. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Also, there's a typo here, so that's also my bad too. Origin PC Genesis 1000 watt EVGA Supernova G3 uh, power supply, EVGA Red Sleep cables, ASUS 3 Z390E ROG Strix gaming motherboard. Frostbite 360 all-in-one cooler, Intel Core i9 9900K at 3.6 gigahertz base and 5.0 gigahertz max turbo. So when you when you're using your PC and get that extra power, it goes up to 5.0. A single 11 gigabytes, not one gigabyte. It's 11 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU, 32 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM. Um, and then for storage, it's three different drives: a 512 gigabyte Samsung M.2 NVMe SSD. A two terabyte Samsung 860 QVO SATA SSD and three terabytes of Seagate SATA HDD. Of course, it comes with the Origin wooden crate armor to protect the PC while shipping. Warranty plus lifetime 24 7 US based support and lifetime free labor. And of course, Windows 10. Those are the specs. Um, again, I'm sorry. Let me disable the specs things because it's not working today. I need to, I forgot to set that up. Apologies. Apologies, friends. Apologies. So PJ stepped out to grab a couple more tools. 
And it is a big PC. It's not even fitting in the frame of the camera, but if you go to the other camera, you can see how tall it is. Like, you can use the monitor as a point of reference and uh, the phone block, and it's really, really big. And when you see PJ coming, you'll see how tall it is. Um, it's really tall. This is what's called a super tower. So it's not. It's taller than a full tower desktop. This is like an extremely, extremely tall uh, system. Breathing greens for that hot sauce. Squid ink. It does it really have squid ink? Oh no, kidding! Cuttlefish ink, water, salt. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more ingredients for this thing. Ghost chili powder, lemon juice. Oh man, they're really stuffing it with the lemon juice and the lime juice. This sounds good though. I I would like to try this. It sounds pretty good, for sure. California Prop 65. Does this look like safe drinking water and toxic? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Okay, that's legal stuff. Yeah. That's funny. They have the different propositions for their different uh, things. Interesting. Whew. Okay. PJ's back, and you can see the size of the PC. I mean, look at that. That's pretty big. But I do like hot sauce. I wonder, I wonder what the name of that store is in Nashville that I went to. Um, what's the name of the mall? It's the one next to the... Oh, man. What's the name of the mall? Nashville Mall. Uh, Opry Mills. Okay, so next to Opry Mills. It's a hot sauce store in Opry Mills. All right. Where is it? Where is it? Opry Mills store directory. Oh, and funny enough, right next to the the hot sauce store was a moonshine store. Gotta love a Nashville. Where is it? Oh, they have Bavarian a beer house. That was also pretty cool, too. Have you been to Bavaria House, PJ? Hmm? Bavaria House. There's one in Bayside. The what German restaurant. What is that? It's a German cuisine. I have not been there. Sir. It's pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, man. So it's a... Uh, Hold on, like I said, Bavarian, uh, da, 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 da. authentic Bavarian experience. It's really dope. I like it. He sounds like a robot. Do you want me to sound like a robot? I will sound like a robot. Pepper Palace. Is that the name of it? I'm looking for it. Do you have a picture of what the wooden crate packaging looks like? Uh, good question. Actually, let me turn off PJ's mic because he's drilling. Um... Let me pull it up here for you. Where is it? There we go. So there's different sizes of uh, the wooden crate armor. And depending on the system that you get, it's different sizes. This is the one that's approximately for the chrono size. But just in general, that's pretty much the good gist of it. It's just, um, it's like, obviously it's surrounded by, uh, it's a crate, pretty much, but this is the shape and very similar to how the other are, uh, the other crates are. We have the origin branding on the crates, so you know it's from us, um, but there's all the wood. Again, we went with the wooden crate armor to protect the PC because sometimes you can't really, I mean, no offense to UPS and anyone else uh, shipping, but sometimes they're really rough with their shipping methods, and this protects the PC and the box from damage. So I'm pretty sure we've probably received big boxes that have been damaged in shipping, so... Uh, that that's hopefully answers your question. Again, we have more. Do we have? That's a good question. I wish we had more, but that's like our best one we have right now on the site. PJ's currently drilling some stuff on the top. I believe it's the fans. How come Jesus Christ is hosting this? Somebody call the Pope. Hold on. For those of you on Twitch chat, let's see uh, if I can try to recreate this one. I'm gonna bless RNG there. PJ's mic might have a too high sample rate. No, I think it's his gain. Yeah, his gain's really high up. PJ talk. Talking. No, uh, it's it could be the micro or the the battery too. Yeah, it does sound pretty. We have to we have to look into it, into it. 
Uh, let me make sure. I had to hand over my firstborn for this PC. Thanks. I hope to be streaming my new Origin PC very soon. Awesome. Glad to have you join the Origin PC family, Galactic Server. And again, if anything happens, don't be afraid to contact our support team for anything. I almost got a new motherboard shipped and the box was dented in. Good thing the board wasn't damaged. Oof, that was scared me. That's scary. Um, give it to me, please. I am poor. I'm sorry. You were talking about the new and shine store next to the hot sauce store. Near where I grew up, there's a big and tall next to the fitness store and next to the basketball. Uh, yes. I bless thou with infinite pizza rolls, my child. Ah. Hashtag not sponsored. Please, I am pro player. Please help. Unfortunately, we cannot. They yeah, can be. I mean, there's a lot of free to play games on uh, consoles and PC. So. I want pizza rolls. Any boxes, dented boxes, have any parts in them are scary AF. I agree. I'm not poor. I'm Jesus. I'm not Jesus. I'm Jon Snow. Bum, bum, ba -da bum, bum, ba -da bum. So, PJ, if, um, there's a convention coming up in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I don't know what you think about this chat, to go dressed as Jon Snow. Well, you look the part. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I look the part. I have to. It trim. only makes sense. I mean, the show's ending soon. You gonna go with your so. aunt? You gonna go with a Khaleesi? Khaleesi. You gonna go with your aunt? My, my aunt. <laughs> my aunt, my Khaleesi. You go with your aunt. Awkward. There's a lot of awkward situations in that show. I'm actually at a. I'm watching the show from the beginning because I've never seen it, but I just saw Battle of Winterfell. So I'm in season two, episode five. And don't worry about if you post any Game of Thrones spoilers. I already know what happens anyway, so. You can't spoil me. Who has cannot be spoiled? I already know who dies anyway, so. Whatever. Is there any giveaway coming up soon? Soon. <laughs> uh, To suffer knowing I won't be able to have this in my lifetime. <laughs> That's hard work. Is there a giveaway coming up soon? Yeah, soon. <laughs> So you just, said. just gotta work um <laughs> save up uh recently i just gotta put a big down payment on a vehicle and that was just a lot of hard work and saving up money you, put, you got another vehicle dude you didn't, haven't seen my car no oh man what'd you get got a ford mustang no, you didn't yes i did no, you didn't yes i did no, you didn't yes i did four six or eight uh four <laughs> turbo four yeah the turbo hey, four sorry. turbo four is dude oh, dude i think it's like I test drove the six and the four. I heard they the four is good though. I heard they boogie. It's crazy. <laughs> Hashtag soon. Oh yes he. <laughs> Daniela is like oh yes he did. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's just a lot of hard work, you know. In the past couple years saving up money and the Nissan was getting along in the tooth, very long. So, I'm enjoying it for sure. Other than the dusting outside, is there any other physical maintenance that we should do to keep our PC running? Okay, just the dusting. That's that pretty much nailed it. Um, unless you get so one thing I will say with the uh, the uh, all-in-one liquid cooling, probably around the five or six-year mark, you could consider uh, replacing it. Just keep an eye on the temperatures, because I know sometimes the all-in-one cooling, sometimes that uh, the inside of the radiator deteriorates. But they they're made to last, I believe, eight years or more. Are you? Am I correct, PJ? Excuse me. The radiator, all-in-one uh, radiators? I'm not sure. I'd be lying to you if I told you how long it was last. But my, we can look it up online because I know that's one of the concerns with the, all the radiators. Because, you know, one thing can only get hot for so long. <laughs> so. My truck is a 2300K. How's that for teeth? Hey, man, if you got a good car, it can last a while. Mine's so. 2007. 2007. How many miles? 144,000. There you go. Man, I had a Corolla that had, uh, I got to 200,000. My Civic before this car actually had, what was the 
thousand. What did I hit? That was two hundred forty-seven thousand. Mm-hmm. I missed that car. Man, yeah, those things are well designed. Are you hyped for the index? I am. I know here at Origin PC we talk uh, about VR and whatnot. We have the Vive and the Oculus. Um, but the index looks extremely, extremely excited. And hopefully, it lights a fire under uh, HTC and Oculus. But the, uh, speaking of Oculus, to their credit, they're releasing the Quest in a couple of days. I um, mean, the reviews are very positive for it. Um, again, it's not the same as PC VR. You don't get the same experience. You can't play like games with extreme like fidelity and graphics. Um, but the index is very exciting. I know the asking price is up there, but compared to the HTC Vive Pro, it's a better deal. No question. Uh, how much was this build and what specs? So this build's approximately eight four thousand eight hundred or so dollars on our site. Again, if I show you the specs you're gonna go, I know what you're gonna say. Everyone says the same thing. I can build it for cheap. You're not wrong. But do you get the support of the world class service? No. You don't. Unless we take care of you. And the crate and all the fun stuff. Um but there are the specs. Uh, don't mind the typo on the single one gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX. It's 11 gigabytes. I apologize. That was my bad. Mi culpa. PJ's taking off the mic. It's getting too much of his face. Um, have you he heard of the Toe of Satan lollipop? No, but I'm assuming it's spicy. Let's look it up. Uh, oh my gosh. Coming in with a four, is that $5? Yes. Mint Berry. I'm replacing the one with an I, but I presume that is what is your name, unless you're talking about M1 and Berry C. But Mint Berry C with a $5 donation. Thank you very much, Mint Berry. So for those of you joining us or just watching and tuning in, um, we're running a campaign with St. Jude to play live. So if you do do, if you do do, donate, do donate, do do donate, whatever. If you do donate, I will call out your name, your donation. If you have any comments, I will also read that as well and give you a very much thanks. Again, anything helps. Um, I shout out dollar donations. I thought shout out $100 donations. Doesn't matter. I'm going to shout you out and give you all the love in the world. So, thank you very much, Mint Berry C. I appreciate it. Hashtag for the kids, for those of you that do have the emotes in Twitch chat. Oh, what time is it? It's 4.32. We're making good time. I know we're looking at PJ's back here, but let me swap to the other camera. No, you're good. You're good. He's working on getting, the, I believe that's, you're getting the back fan in right now? Yeah, he's getting, he's doing some tweaking back there. Yep, 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 yep. PJ got a good back, though. Oh, I'm, I'm still real. I, I feel like my stomach is going to be like later. I, actually, funny story. Speaking of Nashville again, um, there's this place in Nashville. I know Nashville's known for their hot chicken, but there's a restaurant I went to. I forgot the name. It's a Hattie's or something. Um, and Hattie B's. Is that the name of it? Hold up. Hattie B's, Hattie B's. Hattie B's uh, Nashville. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Hattie B's Hot Chicken. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is good. So, in Nashville, I think these are also... Uh, yeah, there's one in uh, Atlanta, Las Vegas, Memphis, and they're Nashville. So, in Nashville, they have this thing called Hattie B's Chicken, which is Nashville Hot Chicken. And uh, they have different uh, sauces for the the thing so these are the flavors by the way southern no heat mild touch of heat medium warming up hot feel the heat damn hot fire starter shut the cluck up burn notice i had the damn hot and that was damn hot <laughs> i did not they warned me i asked them i'm like how hot is the shut the cluck up and they're like dude people they just start crying and they refuse to eat it like people that think they're tough the like tough guys like oh yeah i can eat spicy stuff no problem they cry and they can't do it 
it's too much. I'm like, you know, I'll go with the damn hot. And damn hot was pretty hot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had to close. So the thing is, I felt it, man. I felt that thing in my body. It was so hot. It was so much. Uh, Nashville to Lewis is like Burning Man to Trey. <laughs> what case is being used? The Origin PC Genesis desktop chassis. You can find that at OriginPC.com. You cannot find it anywhere else. We make the case. Um, and you cannot find it anywhere else. We have a variable mounting technology. If you go to our website, here I am speaking like I'm from Game of Thrones. I'm like slow. The problem is when you watch a show for that long, you start picking up accents. And then, you know, stuff happens. And then next thing you know, you're saying like, uh, nay, yay. <laughs> you like start talking like the characters. Anyways, uh, here's the case. Um, you can customize it at originpc.com. Again, we've updated our website. It looks so cool. Look at the background. Look at the title. There's a PC right there. Um, you can learn more at originpc.com. Again, you can't find it anywhere else. It's here. Only here. Don't get why the digital storm is so much more expensive than the Genesis built here. I mean, we all make great stuff. Of course, I have to shout ourselves more. We make the awesomest stuff, of course. Hashtag. Hashtag not sponsored. Um... It's just, you know, we, I want to say, like, we take ex extreme care in our system building. Um, PJ's here, you know, taking great care in Jungle Jim's PC. I'm trying to find a good angle here. I'm probably going to move the camera, though. P Actually, PJ, can you move the camera no. if you get a chance? Hey, man. Move the camera. Yeah, no, just to make it a better angle. No, what, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? We're not Spider-Man. What is this? I'm so confused. I'm lost in the void. What is this? And what is this? What are you doing? So, would you try the lollipop? I would try the lollipop. Yeah, just somewhere because it was angled at your back. And just turn it slightly or get a little closer. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, I would try the lollipop. Why not? How, how, what's the Scoville level on it? Nine million? Who did this? But why? But why? This site, I'm reading the Amazon description. This satanic sucker is made from a special Hellfire chili extract that has a Scoville heat unit rating of nine million. That's 900 times hotter than a jalapeno and hotter than the hottest pepper on the planet. So be careful. This is a food for serious spice gladiators only. But why? I'm stunned. If you're hell bent on heat, try the Toe of Satan challenge. Keep the sucker in your mouth for five merciless minutes. It's guaranteed to turn your mouth into a lake of fire. Why? But why? <laughs> why would you do that? Bragging rights with your friends. Jeez, <laughs> you can't eat this. Can you eat this? It's not, dude, it seems not, like you can't even eat this. Like you put it in your mouth and just it just doesn't even sound enjoyable. Like, like you I'm put it to... in your mouth and you just like you hold on to it and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so spicy, and then you just dump it. I like hot sauce, but I like and I like playing with you know like spicy stuff, but to the point that I can't eat it anymore and then my insides are gonna get scorched and I have to go visit the ER. <laughs> no, <laughs> what, I'm good. What, what is this? Never even knew what you were getting yourself into. But why? Por qué? <laughs> Pero por qué? Oh my god! Isn't there one of those uh, uh, on hot ones that they say that the school is like um, nine million? No, they have one that they make themselves. It's like one one million or so. That's but the, you can't uh, buy the it. Last dab, the right? last dab. But someone made a video. It's like making fun of hot ones, like the way the episodes are structured. And in the video he made at the end of the video that like the last dab is like a nerfed sauce. And I keep saying that too. I've been saying that for years. I'm like, the last dab doesn't seem that bad. Because every time someone like you, you look at the reaction at the Carolina Reaper, the the da bomb and all these like the sauces before the last dab, and everyone's like, Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. And the next thing you know, they do the last dab and we're like, Oh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm like, this one's good. What? Hottest hot sauce is acid. It changed my mind. You'll turn into a rocket when you fart. 
You looking at the chocolate? I'm pretty sure there's like super spicy chocolate, but this is a lollipop, apparently. Lolly. It can cause skin or mouth irritation. Irritation? But why? <laughs> I know. The toe of Satan is intended for use by adults only and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. This product contains high amounts of pure chili extract and is to be handled with extreme caution. You cannot eat this. You cannot physically eat this. I'm pretty sure some crazy We're person did. hot sauce that you shouldn't even consume. This is like wrong. Can you eat this? Here's some hot sauce, but don't consume it. I'm so like shocked by this thing. See customer images. I'm reading the reviews, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm quiet here. I have like people like talking about that. Please. <laughs> this is now again. Please spare me from the chicken wing challenge. No, you will not be spared. Spicy wings for everyone. I think it's because the last step actually tastes good. I think so too. That's maybe that's why. Please donate to the Great Chicken Wing Challenge. John, you're not invited. Do you guys build PCs for random people? So, Jungle Jim is not a random person, friends. Jungle Jim has been a longtime Origin PC supporter. He's been involved with us in our shows, in streams. Um, he's a mod in our Twitch channel. He's been a long-time subscriber. He's always been really active with us. And uh, he made the jump and uh, worked with our sales team to create a beast of a PC, which we are now building for him right now. So he's not a random person. He's an origin. He's a member of the Origin PC family. See customer images. Customers crying lava. Yeah, that sounds all right. PewDiePie hot ones. That would be a good episode. It will be a spicy showdown. A shade will be thrown. Her shades. E. Uh, so he didn't spend it. Jungle Jim did buy the PC. How dated would you say a triple crossfire R9 390 with a 6700K 6, build be compared to a newer build? So triple crossfire, this is where I'm going to chime in and offer some feedback on that. Like, I know you can run some games on that. The problem is that modern games have trouble with that kind of technology because they're not built with that in mind. Um, my recommendation, the process, your process you got is really good. Uh, the graphics card, I'd probably look at possibly just going with one. You could probably just go with um, the 580 or um, the AMD GPUs. Um, and go from there or even the gtx cards if you want to go with nvidia route so yeah my recommendation you got keep the cpu but the triple crossfire try to possibly if you can if you're stuck with it you're stuck with it because again my thing is it's, it's, it's a lot of powerful it's just the games have difficulty supporting it that's the problem uh well today announced the laptop but that's tomorrow actually in about 24 hours and 18 minutes nope 17 minutes huh Blue Shirt Kid has joined the chat. Friday is the announcement of the winner, correct? Mr. Beast has joined the chat. Funny thing is I don't... Funny thing is I don't upgrade to a 580 because it's the same benchmarks as the R9 390. Again, it's just that crossfire compatibility. If the game... Oh, that's another thing I have to correct myself. If the games that you play support crossfire, go for it by all means. But be, again, just keep in mind, check the forums because sometimes some games have compatible issues with the crossfire and SLI. That's a big thing. Uh, but one thing I noticed is that newer games don't support three cards at once. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I really need a gaming PC. I'm stuck with an AMD A10 laptop. Oh, man. I had one of those a couple years ago, too. Just save up. I will say that on the laptop side, laptops are moving up really quickly. Um, NVIDIA just released some new laptops. We released some new laptops, too. We actually have 9th gen in our laptops right now. Actually, that reminds me. That's a lot of stuff to do, man. I got a lot, a lot of projects and stuff. Every time I'm talking, I'm like, oh, yeah, all this cool stuff. I got stuff to do. Um, but I'm here talking to you guys. 
Um, how much is this PC? I'm never gonna answer that question already. Sup, sup. Man, I don't need the ship. I don't know. You guys want to have me eat another ship? $25 more. I'll eat another ship. Mm hmm. Stop eating the donation. If you want to meet another of those demonic chips, um, bit.ls slash origin or OPC play live and you select challenges. I mean, of course we have a reward. So if you want to enter for a chance to win a reward, you can do that too. But if you want to see me suffer right here, again, you don't have to donate the full $25, but you can just chip in and try to assist Get it. collectively as a group. If those of you watching all donated $1, I'd have to eat at least, uh, four chips, I think, or so four or five chips so i know jungle gym donate to that cause to make me suffer so there you go the pepper nut's not that bad if it was brian or cindy or uh, jerica the nut is a really easy way to torture them easy easy way to torture them for me though right there that's my thing that's mm, that's my groove right there if you want to make me suffer All right, let's get out of here. Again, OPC play live or bit.ly slash OPC play live. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you name, when your name did not make the giveaways and I won you, what did it cost me? Everything. <laughs> hmm, that's for everyone Tuesday. That sounds like a good idea. I like that idea, Jungle Jim. Donate and I'll do one nut today. Sure. Easy. No, but Tuesday's exciting. Because um, I'm thinking of, like, using either a board game trivia game and just going with, like, questions with cards. Um, I'm doing that. Or um, I have an idea for the trivia thing, though. Because that way everyone can, you know, keep in, like, giving points, too. Belinda, apologies. I can't get you the specs, but I will show you the specs on screen if you want to see them. Here are the specs. Uh, ignore the one gigabyte in the GPU section. That's my bad. It's 11 gigabytes NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU. But those are the specs uh, for Jungle Gym at 2525 25, 25, or 2525, however you want to say it. Hey. Um, but those are the specs right there. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU. A Intel Core i9 9900K a CPU and a whole bunch of storage, about five, uh, five point five terabytes of storage. Very cool. Hopefully that answered that. Change the typo. Hey man, if I had Photoshop here, I'd do it right myself. But the Photoshop files on my computer are back in my desk, so sorry. Um, trust me, it bothers me too. If Brian was the one doing the stream, I would actually go do it myself, but. I can't do that. Then you guys wouldn't have me talking to you and it'd be very quiet. Some jungle gym. Oh, jungle gym. Are you trying to for nano? Oh, <laughs> Jerica. One for me. Oh, I love these nuts. I could just sit here and just chomp on these things all day. Okay, here's one for the donation. One because I'm hungry. I feel like as we get closer to the bottom, they get more spicy. But they're still good. I was waiting for Jericho to show up. Is this Tetris? No, this is the one that sounds like Pac-Man. Mmm. That's spicy. Jerrica's talking a lot of smack, but she's not showing up. Jerrica, where are you? You got a spicy nut. <clears throat> Alright, hold up. I'm going to back up. Because she's going to show up on camera. And, uh... 
eat the spice of nut. Well, we're getting closer to 3,000 goal, and we get to 3,000. <laughs> She's walking very slowly, cursing me. How about some wasabi nuts? Ooh, wasabi nuts are good. Jerrica has joined the chat. Um, wave hi. You can oh, say hello in the microphone. <laughs> Is this it right here? Yeah, go get, get on camera. Let me scoot over so you can... Where's the camera? Right here. Or you can just go next to PJ and eat it right there. No, behind the desk. The other side, right there. Yeah. No, that's too close. Go, go. All right. So Jerk is eating one. Yeah, there's one. It's very spicy. Good job, Jungle Gym. You did it. Do it. Eat it. What are you doing? Eat it. Chew. <laughs> Give me those nuts. She ate it. Dude, it's hot. I really want it. She ate it. Jungle Jim, you did it. You made her suffer. Oh, I, I cannot wait till Tuesday. I'm so hyped for Tuesday. You guys don't even know. No water? No, well, yeah, I have my water. Let's get out of here. You're good. Get out of here. Get some water. Oh, my God. I'm going to eat another one. <laughs> Jerk is dying. They're good. I don't know what she's saying. They're real good. Pac-Man. <laughs> I didn't say your name. I was just talking about the music. It sounds like it's from Pac-Man Championship Edition. They're good, though. I'm going to go off camera for, like, right here. Oh, man. They're really good. I want some. They're good. You can find them on Amazon. The bomb. Ghost pepper nuts are really good. Not for the faint of heart, but if you do like, if, if you, if the idea of trying really spicy stuff, like excites you, that's really good. But it's not that, it's not like super spicy for, again, for people like Jerrica who don't normally eat spicy stuff, it's extremely spicy. Question. What is the difference between a 2080 Ti, the NVIDIA 24 gigabyte GeForce RTX Sign, and then the cryogenic cooled NVIDIA 24 gigabyte GeForce RTX Sign? Okay, so the difference, the cooling... That already the first between the two. So the 28 Ti and that 24 gigabyte Titan are air cooled. The cryogenic cooled NVIDIA is liquid cooled. So the entire PC would have liquid cooling go from, you know, the reservoir to the GPU. You can choose between having CPU and GPU cooling or just the GPU cooling. People, it doesn't matter. People choose all sorts of things. But the difference between the 28 Ti and the Titan is the Titan's more aimed at professionals. The 2080 Ti is designed for gaming. So if you need to do stuff with your GPU and like hot, super, super high-end stuff that you think the 2080 Ti can't keep up, you go with the Titan. Um, the safest option for gaming, if you want to do 4K gaming, like super smooth, 2080 Ti. No question. I hope that answered the question. S Pro, you sicko. What? Pro, you stop. Stop. Stop, you sicko. Okay, there you go. Origin PC joined on hot ones. Who's balling? Cough, 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 cough. Hey, that's, yeah, that's me. I would be coughing. When I watched the Tenacious D one, I was impressed because Jack Black and uh, Kyle actually ate the entire wing. Normally, when people go on hot ones, they just like they just do a bite, like. Um. Yeah. But they were committed. They ate the full wing, like they ate the full thing. And you can see Jack Black was like he ate the full thing. I'm like, dang, Jack Black, I respect you. Um, where was it? Um, I'd make my dad cry when I cook because I love spicy foods. I5-8400 or I5-900F. Hold up. Are you talking about the 900, 9,000? Um, if you're talking about, I mean, again, it depends on your budget, but my recommendation is always to go with the latest gen CPU if you can, you're able to. So that we have to upgrade it down the right, the road. I'm just oh hey just ten dollars I'm gonna order some at the end of the month when I get the money yeah it's it's those those nuts are pretty good we got the two pack so we have enough to last us the month video editing Titan is something stronger if not by much though that's why I want the 2080 Ti so gaming streaming blueprinting and some game design the 2080 would be enough totally enough I think so it gets worse when it goes down your throat yo. Yai G. 
So I just built my first PC, congratulations, but I have no idea how to get my RAM to run at 3000 megahertz. Any help, chat? So Soul, I would recommend looking into your BIOS. That's obviously the first thing. And also your motherboard. Sometimes some motherboards don't support the higher um, frequency. Um, I know like my motherboard only supports 1200. It's an old motherboard. But I have 1600 megahertz RAM. So you have to look into the BIOS. Of course, be careful with that because you don't want to go mess around with it too much, but BIOS is easy. You got it. Yeah, just look in the BIOS. Devil's Nut. It's awful. No. Okay, I'm caught up with the question. PJ, how are we doing? Doing pretty good, man. Doing good? Yeah. Um, just got to wire it up. Get it kicked on. Cool. I see you're making a ton of progress here. I, I feel like I've just been yabbering and jabbering and That's not fine. really focusing. But That's fine. People are watching the build, though, as I'm yabbering. They are or not? They are. Oh, okay. that's what they're focused on. Cool. Let me jump over to the other camera. Um, I think my FPS counter broke. Hmm. Why don't you try the? I don't know. Could be the, a thousand three hundred twenty-seven FPS. Sometimes some games are weird. I know, like if you go in Destiny, sometimes it goes like that thousand FPS or whatever. But it could be some things. Help me, my tongue is itchy. She just get some milk. Get some milk. Milk. Again, like I was saying earlier, PJ, sometimes people just aren't accustomed to spicy stuff. I am. I'm used to it. You know, it'd be awesome to get Omar to do it. Oh, he's gonna be on the stream supposedly on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's so. You good. know who the peanut gallery is for Tuesday? Oh. Omar, um, Brian, Sydney, and Jerica. Okay. And um, the, again, the way we're gonna do it. Is we're gonna go from the like the mild wings from Buffalo Wild Wings all the way up to Blazing. Um, is PJ used to spicy food? Eh. Me. Not over the top, but yeah, I think it'd be better. It's it's better. Better viewing if you have that group of four people on mm -hmm. doing it. Give him some milk. Is forty terabytes of hard drive too much? Depends what you're doing. All right, so if you're working with like extremely large video files, that should work, right? But if you're not, if you're only using it for games, I think that's too much for games. I think five terabytes is like a good safe number for what about 14. 14? How do you do with 14 terabytes? Because the thing is, like, sometimes you just don't, like, there's games you have on your computer and you just don't even play, so I just delete them. Like, really big games, like, I'm not playing this anytime, so I just get rid of it. So. Give us tips to master spicy. Eat a lot of spicy. Can't just keep eating spicy food. That's all you gotta do. Eventually, you'll become very numb to it. So this is what happens. So when you get really good at like spicy stuff, this is what happens. What happened? This is what happens. What happens? Still waiting ah, on ah, one ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically become a ghostwriter. What are you doing? What are you, what, what are you doing? Trying, trying okay. to... Ow, it's hot. Ah, it's hot. Ah, it's hot. Ah, it's hot. You turn into ghostwriter? I need some more spice. Hello there. Is there a way why my motherboard wasn't detecting my SSD? So there's a bit of diagnosis with that. Um, obviously, you want to check the physical connections. You really want to check the physical connections first because sometimes you think that everything's plugged in, but they're not. And try different ports too at first. Um, and then once you're done with that, also look into the BIOS. If it's not detected through the BIOS, it could be multiple things. It could be the drive itself. It could be the port. But that's why I say try different SATA ports for the SSD. Um, and then if that's not the case, and then you can just diagnose from there. I'm pretty sure there's guides online that show you how to properly diagnose an SSD that's not uh, detected by the motherboard. I hope that answered your question. Will we have a trophy for the hot wing challenge? No, you just get my uh, my props. That's what you get. You get props. That's it. That's all you get. Props. I want your props? I want a trophy? No, you get. You know what you also get? A unicorn poo. Bag of chips. 
It's a unicorn poo. See? They're just lying around here. What are the specs of the PC? Glad you asked. Go ahead and jump to it. Or just a PC Genesis, 1000 watt EVGA Supernova G3. Uh, red sleeve cables. They are red sleeve cables, right, PJ? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, the Asus Z390E RG Strix Gaming Motherboard. A 360 all in one cooler. Intel Core i9 9900K, 3.6 gigahertz, 5.0 max turbo. Uh, that's a typo there in the GPU line. It's a single 11 gigabyte, not one gigabyte. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU, 32 gigabytes to 3000 megahertz, Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM, and 5.5 terabytes of storage, including M.2 NVMe SSDs, SATA SSDs, and a regular HDD. Those are the specs, my friend. I hope that answered your question. So we have, I'm going to say, PJ, you're in pretty much in the, just putting the, taking care of the cables, right? Yep. Yep. All right. Just cabling everything up and then I'll be able to power it on. Cool. Cool. Um, what else do we have happening? What else? What else? There's the specs. So I know I've been talking about it throughout the stream, but just got to keep talking about this more. We're going to be running a bunch of streams this month uh actually i'm gonna run through the schedule really quick and uh show you guys what we're up to so if you go to bit.ly slash opc play live you can see our rewards our challenges that we do on stream that you can actually have us do such as the mint challenge the hot sauce challenge which is a big favorite around these parts and uh here's the stream schedule so today we're doing the live build which we're almost done with tomorrow we're playing Dusk and also announcing the PewDiePie laptop winner too, which is very exciting. Next Monday, we're gonna be playing Slime. Wait, no, I'm not Slime Rancher. Shakedown Hawaii. Jerrica, fix the schedule. We're not playing Slime Rancher on Monday. We're playing Shakedown Hawaii. On Tuesday, we're playing the hot, we're not playing, we're eating hot wings and I'm gonna quiz the group of friends over here questions as they eat hot wings and suffer. It's gonna be good. On May 9th, that Friday, we're going to be playing Neverwinter from our friends at Perfect World. I believe they have an update coming out. Is it Neverwinter or Start? No, it's Neverwinter. Okay. And then after that, so we're going to play Ultimate to Chicken Heart. I think the schedule's kind of wrong, though. Jericho, check the schedule. I think it's wrong. I'm not 100% on this. Check, check it. Uh, then after that, we're going to play Jackbox with you guys so you guys can participate. For those of you familiar with Jackbox games, we're going to be playing some Jackbox games right here on stream with you guys and be actively participating. Uh, Rage 2 launch day, we're playing Rage 2, and we have, we're gonna have some key, key? I'm, I'm going with key for now, to give away via St. Jude Play Live. Um, PJ, did they tell you that you're gonna be doing the blind live build? Nope. Well, guess what, you're doing a blind live build in two weeks, hopefully after you're done with your big project. Yep. That's the idea. We're trying to give you as much time for your project before getting to the blind no live build. Then we got Star Trek Online, Rise of Discovery, and then, oh, we got another live build, PJ, but guess what? You're going to be the one doing the talking, and Brian's going to be the one building. Oh, gosh. That should be a fun one. After yeah, that, it's... we're going to be doing a spoopy stream, so very spooky games. Uh, Jericho will be playing that one. We're going to be playing Move or Die collectively as a group, and then we're looking to do a Smash Brothers tournament, marketing team versus product group. That's going to be a little tricky there because we're going to do a little bit of coordination. That might change. And then on May 31st, we're going to be doing a marathon stream. It's going to be a very long stream. You can tune in all day, and we're going to be doing shenanigans pretty much from beginning to end, raising as much po money as possibly we possibly can for St. Jude Play Live. It's a very exciting month of streaming. And, of course, don't forget, we have a whole bunch of raffles, including a RTX 2060 raffle and an Intel Core i7 9700 KF raffle. For those of you that don't know, KF just means that it doesn't have a G um, M integrated graphics. FYI. All right, let's go back to the build because PJ's over here and working on the cable management. Okay, back to the questions. Where, where was I? Well, I plan on gaming, this is from Pac-Man. Well, I plan on gaming, streaming, doing blueprinting, starting game design, maybe handling business startup, depending on space, if it makes sense. Maybe I just get getting overboard when it comes to things. The RTX 20 Ti can do all of that. So again, if you're going for that single gaming PC startup, the 20 RTX 20 Ti should take care of everything. Of course, you just have to know how to do the streaming part and getting everything properly set up too. Of course. Uh, da, 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 da. Emotes, emotes thick, emote. Quieres Fortnite? 
donate which party pack uh i own one through three i i'm think looking into getting four and five how many times you get get asked for pcs if i told you i'd probably be rich if i got a quarter for every time someone asked i was asking this because after i boot up the pc and windows login it won't show the desktop it just stays black with the mouse cursor i can move it but i have no explorer hmm that's an interesting issue windows login it won't show the desktop so that sounds like an issue with windows itself i would recommend just reinstalling windows 10. That's my recommendation because you can move the mouse, but there's no Explorer. That's got to be an issue with uh, Windows 10, the Windows 10 install. Make sure you, of course, you try to back up your files if possible. But uh, if you can alt or uh, access the, what should I call it? Um, this thing. Where was I? Task manager. If you can get task manager up and running, that could also be helpful too. But that's a really odd situation. Avo's Xena. Avo Xena. I remember charity for stream for the kids. That was awesome. We're not going for 24 hours this year. We're going to be going for, I'm hoping 12. I'm, I've been telling the team from noon to midnight. Um, so it's not 24 hours. So we're not going to be staying overnight. It's just from noon to midnight. And we're going to try to do shifts too. So it's not everyone here at the same time. Just do like blocks of people doing stuff. Uh, are you giving away any free PCs anytime soon? Tomorrow we're going to be announcing the winner of the PewDiePie Evo 16S laptop. So that'll be fun. Try new cable. Yeah, that's another thing. Try new cable. Always check the physical thing first. I remember I learned something in school. Like yeah, there's different layers of like support you need to go through. And the first one's always physical. Because if it's physical, you can solve that one real quick. Windows in brew probably could be a bad connection. Yeah, there you go. Fresh install or just restart. What? 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 Awesome work. Do you guys send desktops to Brazil? Um, we ship worldwide, so we do. It's just you know you have to accommodate for the shipping costs and all that, and that of course increases the price of the order. Control Shift Escape Task Manager shortcut for those who don't know. Fun fact. Alt F4 also closes everything if you don't know. Fun fact. Wish my Genesis could get the live stream team treatment. It's just saying. Can't wait for delivery. Glad to hear it retired, Navy Vet. Boo, no 24 hours. Should I build a 9900K PC right now or wait till the new AMD and Intel CPUs come out this year? There's all. Okay, so that's a question we get asked a lot. Do, do I go for it or do I wait? So it's kind of like a. I don't want to use car metaphor. I'm not going to use car. Okay, so it basically, the question is. Are you, if the new hardware came out, would you be okay with the one that you got today, right? So if you're willing to wait, if you need a PC like today, like I, I don't care, I need a PC right now, I wanna play some Fortnite right now today, then it, you're fine, just get the 9900K. But if you're like, you know what? I don't need a PC today, that's me. I don't need a new PC today, I can wait. I'm just gonna wait till the newest hardware comes out, just be prepared to pay. Remember, with new hardware, don't expect always going to be cheap. You got to be prepared to pay because new hardware. So if the second comes out, you're gonna you're gonna pay, right? And then you're gonna feel a little bit of regret because then you'll see once the new hardware comes out, the other hardware goes down in price for like a little window. The hardware will go down in price because they need to get rid of the old stuff. Yeah, a little difference between the two. So it's really tricky with parts sometimes because I know when the new GPUs came out, like. The new GPs came out, they came out at this price, and then the 10 series cards dropped, and then the holidays came in, they dropped a little more, and then they sold out, and now they're higher. They went up. So you have to kind of find the right window if you're okay with getting going with older hardware. But if you're committed to newer hardware, just be prepared to pay. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope I answered your question. But it doesn't seem that 20 Ti 40 hard drive, you're really committed to that 40 terabytes hard drive. Uh, I think the 40 terabyte hard drive is probably like the thing that you, I would probably cut back on because if you cut back on that 40 terabytes I think you should be fine unless you have you're working with files that are like two terabytes are really really big um and then i9 9980xe that's that's a lot that's a big one man oof yeah that's a good question I mean, he already said it um, it's earlier in the chat. I think he said uh, gaming, streaming, development, uh, printing, Why blueprinting. Ah, oh, man, the XE though. XE's like, that's a lot. You're asking to like power up 
Skynet. Oh, man, that's a big one. So XE, uh, yeah, the things I would cut back would be definitely the hard drive space Ooh, and the ADXE. Like How much memory is you running? 64 gigabytes of RAM. Run, run 16 or 32. You'd be happy. You'd be fine with 32. You don't need 64. Yeah, I think 32 RAM would also be beneficial too. Windows key and L locks your PC. You're very right. I do that all the time. There's 20 ATI. A very fancy. have problems with the usb port after installing fresh windows and man i hate to say it could be the actual motherboard too based on what you've said i mean i could be wrong i, ho I hope i'm wrong <laughs> i really hope i'm wrong i don't like saying that parts are broken that's not fun when the origin pc did not have put your name on the giveaways list you windows xp sound <laughs> i have millennium how do i get the bottom portion making it a genesis uh david depends on which one you have if you contact your sales and support team they should be able to help you but off the top of my head, PJ, can you quickly answer this? Do we still have the last gen e Genesis expansion or only the new gen? Uh, you, oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, that's probably, something sales would know, right? Probably or, not. If it's EOL, I don't think they're going to list it on a... Yeah, that's the thing. Because you can buy it on the site. But again, I recommend before buying it on the site is to contact the sales team and the support team to see if they can work with you to try to figure out your best upgrade path if you want to go with the Genesis route. If you already own the system, right? But if you own the last generation Millennium, I don't know if we still have those parts. I think, I want to say we do, but I could be wrong. But if you have the new Gen 1, we do have it. If you go to our gear shop, actually, I can show you. So here's our new gear shop. It looks kind of like the old one, but uh, you can actually find the expansion over here. Where is it? Oh, trying to find it. It's not here. Hold up. Where is it? No, this is. Where is it? I thought it was here. I remember it was here in the old site. Unless I got rid of it. Where is it? Oh, power. I remember it was here. I have to check with the team, but I remember it used to be here. Hmm. I wonder why they removed it. I think this is probably have to special order it directly from our sales team. It looks like it. Let me jump out of there. But yeah, that expansion, I believe, don't quote me, but I think it's around either 80 or 70-ish. I think. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. It could be like maybe cheaper and more expensive, but it's around that range. So, again, my best advice is if you want to do that Genesis expansion, contact our sales team. They can help you. I'm a college student, by the way. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, the safest option would be to do a build similar to what um, Jungle Gym has. So, the processor, the GPU, 32 gigabytes, and then the storage is. That's my question for the storage. I don't know how much you actually need. Because 40 terabytes is a lot, dude. I don't, I don't know. Because Jungle Gym's going with 5.5 terabytes, which I think is a lot, too. But again, it depends on what you're doing with. If you're doing working with a lot of video files, maybe 10 terabytes would be good. But again, if you get a really good external storage, you can shuffle a lot of that stuff out, too. You need to back up. Your, if you're working with media, you have to back your stuff up. Question, no question. Zero question. Um... It's strange because a few months ago I was fine and now my PC can't handle having game one monitor in a stream, for example, on another monitor. I don't know. Kind of look, try to test that hardware, man. I'm sorry. What's the price of the best gaming PC you can possibly build? That's tricky because best gaming PC, like, for example, some person would think that their $1,000 PC is the best P gaming PC they can build. Well, then you have another person that thinks a $10,000 PC is the best gaming PC you can build. The best gaming PC you can build is the one that you're happy with zero question like you're like no i don't you know I, i'm thinking about an upgrade no no when you're like you know what this is it that i've like i don't need any more i don't need like maybe there's some parts i need i don't need to upgrade like once you're good you're good you'll know you're good and the coolest thing with game with game pieces if you need to upgrade you can always upgrade so yep yep what are the specs for this build i just went over them i hope you were there and you saw that um, I thought it was a jukebox. How is the system about fans? I mean, how many fans to let the whole PC with good cooling? So this system has 
one, two, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one has four fans. And depending on the case, some have, might have more, might have less. Um, it also depends on the cooling method of your PC because sometimes you might get those giant fan cooler things you plop on the CPU or you might get an all-in-one cooler and you have fans on the radiator. So it, depend it also depends on the case too because maybe some cases have more fans. Maybe there's a fan in the front. Maybe there's a fan in the back. It's weird. Some cases, different cases have different fan positions and stuff. And it's up to you too because all the other thing you have to factor in is like the kind of airflow of the air going in and the air going out that way or going out wherever um and the speeds too but that's a little bit more technical that's for another day oh uh, by the way hugs from brazil thank you very much uh thank you cool the evo 16 last laptop i do believe can you really use a drill to build a pc i've always used a ratcheting screwdriver however you want um pj's just really familiar using the drill because it's faster for him you also got to make sure you have a very light sensitive torque on it too yeah you can't use like the max squirt like you're drilling something into a wall. It's a bad idea because you're working with really delicate hardware. Um, Ask me how I know. Me, I use the ratcheting screwdriver too. For me personally, I don't care. Like I don't want to use a drill. I'm fine with the screwdriver. Um. What if Will Smith joins on Hot Once Again when he tastes the last hot sauce? Will Smith, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. The lowest char hard drive space I want is 20 terabytes. Yeah, I'd probably th do that. I'd probably be fine with that. Because the thing, the beautiful thing about hard drive space is you can get more if you need to later down the road. And then you can make an external space too if you need to store stuff offsite. How much is this build worth? 4, 000, around 4,800. Cable management is PogChamp as always. Oh. I have seven fans in a mid tower. That's a lot of fans. Greetings from Poland, my friends. Greetings from, from Miami, Florida. Let me change camera here. You can see in PJ's back. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I can swap. I got the control, the power. Um, It's a long stream. A lot of donations from you guys. Again, I pre greatly appreciate any donations throughout the stream no matter how small no matter how large we appreciate them all because in saint jude it, again we always say uh, saint jude children's hospital but one thing is saint jude is also a research hospital so the research the money get, you donate also goes into research as well because there's people in the saint jude team that research on you know these deadly diseases that children are afflicted with and they share their knowledge they don't keep it to themselves they share all this knowledge out to you know places all over the world to help solve you know random or different kinds of uh diseases and infections and all sorts of stuff and they don't keep they everything they know they give to as many people as they possibly can and that's the cool thing with saint jude is they're not just helping our own people here in the united states they're helping as many people as they can with their information so that is why i like saint jude and there's uh all the saint jude links right there all right, I'm going to jump over to that other camera. I'm, like, swapping back and forth. There we go. And it is 5.18 p.m., so we're already less than 24 hours for announcing the PewDiePie Evo 16S winner. I don't know who the winner is. Normally, i tell you if I did, but I don't know. We're going to pick the winner uh, tomorrow. Let me turn down PJ's mic because I hear some ruffling of ruffles. My next build, I just want to get like four two terabyte M.2 drives in RAID and have one big eight terabyte C drive. I'm sick of having multiple drive letters. It works for you. It works for you. Everyone has different opinions on how to do the storage. I know RAID's really interesting. I've never worked with RAID personally, but I know it's really good for, depending on what you want to do, if you want to do either speed or you want to do um the safety or the security one where you like you save the that it's a raid one or raid zero what's the name of it what's the name of it hold on because there are different types of raid raid zero and raid one da, 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 da. raid one is the exact copy raid zero is the split so you're having like two drives functioning as one don't ever do raid zero so i mean for me i, I probably wouldn't mess with the raid stuff maybe raid one because i feel like the backup would make me sleep better at night i guess but i don't really need it 
not especially not for a gaming PC. Oh no, I lost my Call of Duty save file. Anyways, a lot of that stuff is saved in the cloud anyways, especially for multiplayer games. Raid Zero is risky. If one drive goes bye-bye, all data goes bye-bye. You're right. You're right. Raid Zero is fine if you have an image backup to a NAS or something nightly. There you go. Everyone has their experiences with Raid. Not like a MMORPG Raid or Destiny Raid, but Raid for PC. Redundant array of independent disc. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Wikipedia. $60 away from $3,000. Can we actually do it, guys? Maybe. Can you guys make me eat a spicy chip again? I mean, I got this hot sauce here just chilling out. The bomb or not the bomb? That is the question. The bomb. Uh, I apologize for that. I'm just looking forward to going home and watching more Game of Thrones. The what? Someone's an addict. Hey man, I want to try to. So the way I'm watching Game of Thrones, I was telling you the others was I'm watching it like Quentin Tarantino style, totally disjointed. I saw the Battle of Winterfell, um, and now I know how some of these character story arcs end, but I still want to like see what happens up to that point so it's weird watching like this massive battle and then going all the way to the beginning and watching all the way to now it's like a movie you started at the end yeah, like, yeah, yeah how yeah. did this all happen yeah how did this happen <laughs> yes i go once upon a time, yeah, once upon a time. so I'm re I, this is a really exciting way of watching game of thrones i think a lot of people are probably doing the same thing i am too i don't know many moves um past. people that are watching you know how did these characters get here how did this happen who are these people? Why are they here? Why do they hate each other in the past? Why are they friends now? What happened? It's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in the next episode, a lot of drama, a lot of drama, man. Get three episodes left. We'll see what happens. I want to see some death next episode. Death. I mean, three episodes, that's a lot of time. I mean, I, uh, the last episode can have a ton of death, for all we know. I, death. I mean, no spoilers. But uh, we'll Can't see. For and we'll see what happens in the next three episodes of Game of Thrones. How the, the whole thing ends. What season was Shrek in? <laughs> Get out of my swap, donkey! <laughs> Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Uh, I ain't the sharpest tool in the shop. Stop. <laughs> Someone said Shrek, dude. That activates my Shrek drive. Yeah? Well, let's turn it there. Turn it off. <laughs> turn it back off. In Shrek 2, why did that all the people like crash in Shrek's house? That's such like a, a mean move. Y'all could win some cool games on Harvard. You're right. Someone paid for a chip so he can't sing. Oh yeah, please. All right, how much? How much is it to the next chip? Twenty-five dollars left. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll keep singing. You're gonna get the copyright. But I'm doing my own personal rendition. There's no music, and there's music in the background too for Monster Cat. So. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so you see, this is what happens with Shrek in Game of Thrones. You don't see him, but he's a side character and he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So if you're wondering what happens to a certain character at a certain point in time, he helps them, but you don't see it, it's off screen. And then the gingerbread man um, also shows up too and he stabs some people with his tiny little like candy cane knife and go, and then you're like, who died? I don't know how he died. And this is the gingerbread man. That's gingerbread man pulled his little candy cane knife out. <laughs> Stabbing people in Game of Thrones, dude. man. That damn movie, bro. That movie's like, yo. Make Lewis try spicy stuff. Building my new PC, I see. And that's not yours. It's Jungle Gyms. True facts. Shrek was my first Xbox game. Xbox. Do you know the Muffman who lives in Deer Lane? Shrek 2 sucks. 
Have you seen Shrek 2? It's a bad movie. It's a really bad movie. Have I Shrek 3? Shrek movie 3. Okay, so Shrek 1 is the best one. This is my opinion. 2, 3, 4. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So bad. I know we talk trash, or we don't talk trash. I love the Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man 1, 2, 3. Amazing. I don't care about the amazing movies, but oh, Shrek. Did you just say Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3? Were I running? will defend 3, dang it. You will defend. I will defend three. We're not friends anymore, bro. Three is a masterpiece. I have a vi <laughs> I have a video the for you. The worst ever, there bro. There is a video. There's no such thing as a skinny venom. There, Get out of here there with that is nonsense. a video that you should watch. Skinny venom and the Sandman's a crybaby. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. The Sandman's a crybaby and Peter Parker's an emo. What? Because it's a dark movie. It's not dark. It's about emotion. Yeah. It's about betrayal. I get that. It's about growth. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing growing going on. Over it's here. about going to the dark side. Yeah, I guess. And falling down the rabbit hole and feeling when you can't get back up, but then you get back up. Spider-Man sucks. What did you just say? Anyways. Venom. 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 Can you explain what this whole raid thing is and what would you need 820 gigabytes of RAM for? Okay, so quick little lesson, Mr. Pac-Man. So if you look up uh, the raid stuff I'm talking about, I know a lot of people here were in chat, they know about all the raid stuff. So here's the uh, Wikipedia explanation. Basically, I'm going to try to explain it as simple as you can. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a regular hard drive, let's say you have a one terabyte hard drive, but you want either two things. You want to extend that one hard drive. So you know how they have like your C drive? Well, that's not, that's a reverse scene. Your C drive, um, and sometimes you want to add an extra hard drive. It creates like a D drive or an E drive. You can do something in RAID which actually extends the two hard drives. So it's everything is considered in this uh, one drive. And that's the RAID zero. So there's different ones. Actually, Wikipedia has a good article that shows you different RAID uh, setups. The main ones, though, are RAID 0 and RAID 1. Uh, RAID 0 is, according to Wikipedia, which is a more technical explanation, is the striped or the split. So data is evenly across two or more disks without parity information or redundancy or fault tolerance. So there's no redundancy. Basically, it's just the extended, like sending your drive from one terabyte to two terabytes if you're using the exact same drive. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so if one drive fails in the RAID 0, the, uh, let's say one drive completely fails, that means the other drive you can't use. It's completely screwed. Because, again, you're linking the two, so the data is shared between the two. Right? Because um, of the way hard drives work in the data transfer. RAID 1 is redundancy. So let's say we have those two one terabyte hard drives. They're the exact same copy. So if something happens to hard drive 1, the hard drive 2 still works. Your redundancy. That's RAID 1. So RAID 0, you can extend your hard drive power and sometimes the speed too. RAID 1, you're making a copy for redundancy. Um, I hope I explained it. I think that's the best way to explain it. Um, I hope that worked. Um, but there's a lot of information online about the RAID setups. I personally don't run RAID setups, but I know some people do, depending on your data. Like maybe you really want to back up your data or maybe you want to extend it. I know some people in chat were saying, like, don't do RAID 0, which I totally understand because, again, if one hard drive goes wrong, the entire thing goes wrong, which is not recommended. RAID 1 is good for security. So if you really want to back up your data or protect it, RAID 1 is pretty good. So there you go. I hope it answered your question. I was very in-depth. <laughs> Nano, how dare you? Yeah, everyone else is explaining it to you. Leviathan RAID. So no raid is better. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, do it. If you don't know what you're doing, probably don't do it because you might do something wrong. I don't know. I guess it's a good way to explain it, but it, there's a lot of YouTube videos that explain raid better than I can. I'd say the best I could, given the situation. Because again, I don't have raid. I know some people in the office might have raid, but I don't have it. I do not run in raid, but I do run raids. Do a flip. I'll show you a flip. You want to see a flip? There's a flip. Watch. There's a flip. My level three helmet. Sucker. Oh, 
Oh, I feel like taking a nap. 1v1 me, boss. You got Quake. <laughs> you got Quake, son. I'll fight you in Quake. <laughs> is it nap time now? Oh, it definitely is for me. Although I do want to watch Game of Thrones. How would one get into professional gaming PC as... Or, oh, man. How would one get into professional gaming PC building as a career? I'm getting bored of help desk. So... At Origin PC, we have builders or assemblers, as we like to say, and then there's integration. Um, I mean, there's there's different ways. Um, you can I mean, you can technically work for us too, but there's no open positions that I know of, right? Maybe. Yeah, I mean that's manufacturing. Um, but the thing is, you, you use your word as a career, so there's a difference between that, right? Because there are differences between like putting the PCs together or coming up with configurations that could work for PCs, right? That's what our product group does. But there are different between actually physically putting the PC together versus like coming up with like a good setup and doing all the testing to make sure all the hardware works. Um, that's tricky. There's not too many positions out there that I know of, but just a lot of looking. But if you do like working with PCs, I'm sure there's a lot of PC inspired jobs that aren't help desk. They can do that. I hope that helps, but it's tricky. Uh, no matter if you have a RAID or just one single drive, any hardware can fail. So just always having good backups is important. That's the preacher of the choir, man. I love backups. I always try to back up at least once or once or twice uh, every, or once every month or once every two months, just to make sure you never know. Oh, you're that guy that just likes to back everything up. Is that what you're saying? Dude, I, when all of a sudden like something happens and you lose all your data, it's the worst feeling in the world. So, back up your backup. Let's back it up. Good lord, what's happening in there? I don't know, PJ's doing stuff. We can't see it. He's just looking at stuff secretly. Hiding. Hiding. hiding He's hiding everything. Not We're not allowed to look inside. Hey, man. What's going on in there? We need to know. Stuff. Stuff's happening. Positive things are happening over here. I'm just getting bored of help desk. And you can do project work too. I think you can probably expand if you have experience there. It's a matter of them. I don't feel like I'm drifting into career stuff. This is gonna come with a good resume and get, get out there. Fortnite Pro Scene is RNG and skill based, not one or other champ bracket is a mess. I don't know how they do that, man. Like, the Fortnite professional scene is kind of confusing because it adds so much new stuff sometimes. Like, I was watching a stream the other day, and, like, everyone's in those stupid balls. And they're, like, the circle is, like, the smallest possible circle, but they're in the balls just, like, going around and around. And I'm like, how is this fun? It's very funny, but the thing is, people are taking this extremely seriously. Like, your survival increases your, you know, your rankings and everything. It's kind of annoying. Um... I live on the edge. I don't back up. Um, he's hiding what he broke. Ha ha. Uh, ha, ha. That's what I, exactly what I'm doing. Hey, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Why can't I have a PC? You good. Luis Bolaños, you're fading away. I don't feel so good. Uh. Mm. I do feel good. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Oh, so good. Da, 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 da. I feel good. Da, 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 da. I knew. I'm not, I'm not 100%. That is how the song goes. Having fun with the snap cam filters, man. That's kind of cool. You are having fun with the snap filters? Did you not know there's filters on the stream now? I can become like a donut. Want to see the donut? Did your mouth move? Yeah, it's really creepy. Watch. Donut in three, two, one. <laughs> ah, my donut. Yeah, what donut is right happening? Yeah, I mean, ah, help me! I'm ha -ha. We got, we got, we got donut pizza, donut lasagna. Oh, snap! 
I'm a donut. Oh no, I'm still a donut. I can't turn off the donut. What did I do? I can't turn off the donut. You're a donut for life. I'm a donut for life. Does he walk out of here being a donut? What have I done? Tune in next week. Ah! I can't get rid of the donut. Donut, I'm cursed to being a donut. That's what happens when I talk all this trash. I'm a donut for life. I'm gonna cry now. That sounds like that sounds gangster. I'm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what have I done? I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I <fa> I found <laughs> it. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. You can't. You gotta leave the donut on. Awesome. But why? <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, well, I missed some questions because I was laughing at the donut. Fortnite is the definition of trash. But what is the definition of, of, not, trash. of not trash? Is that a donut? You can hide and rank up. Yeah, that's true. It's really annoying. Seriously, how do I get one? Um, save up money. No, if you want to build it yourself or buy your own, that's pretty much the way to get a PC, to be honest. Um, you can enter our giveaways too, but the thing is, if you want the true hard, like the rock method of, you know, he's gonna work your way up, just save up money. Donate five dollars for a stream filter. I'm gonna do MJ. He he. Hi. Build one or buy people. There you go. Is it possible to get an MSI RTX 2080 instead of RTX 2080 Ti Founder Edition? So Super Jack, if you're working with, if you want it in the Origin PC, you can contact our sales team and they can actually order it for you. Or you can actually or, buy it yourself or, and send it to us and we'll put it in the PC. Or, or you could buy a PC without a GPU and you can install the GPU and we can have the wires preset for your or, GPU. Or, I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of ors there, basically. So if you really want a specific GPU, talk to our sales team. Because you can make a PC without a GPU inside it. You can just get like the PC chassis and all the fun stuff, the CPU and all that, but without the GPU. So you can't do that. Uh, Apex Legends, Minecraft. I have 760. Is that enough for a good build? $760? That's good enough for a I3, I5, Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5. Probably find a good one on Craigslist. 1660X, GTX, TI maybe? Use PC part picker if you want to do that kind of budget to try to see if you can find something good. Where was I? Make sure I got. Oh, I'm fully caught up. Everyone's fully caught up. PJ's almost done. You're almost done, right? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, he's done. Is there anything you're adding in the bottom or not really? No, that's it. No, that's it. Do you have the windows or the covers for the bottom part? Yep, right here on my hands. All right. Gamers with a tight budget sometimes just go with a good AMD APU for their first build. That's true, too, dude. I, I mean, I. I mean, we don't have those in our um, arsenal, I should say. But you're right. You can get an AMD uh, Ryzen CPU with Vega graphics on board. So, Origin PC CEO in the house. I had to check out Jungle Jim's PC. Guess what, Kevin? Here it is. This is the fully, the full thingy with all the fun stuff inside. It looks really cool. It's red. I like red. It looks amazing. But wait till we get the lights on and show off uh, what's up with uh, the PC. Let me turn down the mic Did here. Did I tell you I found an extra RGB for your gaming system? For the gaming PC here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I found an extra RGB fan. Huh. We don't need it, though. Do we? No, that's fine. All right, everyone. I'm going to head out here. I'm going to have a leak the lurker page. Maybe we'll be back later. Well, thank you for tuning in. Pointless a bro. Appreciate it. Uh, legit Denny, order PC 19th. I think it's in the last integration phase. IDK, are you the one talking about? Are we talking about? Sorry, I'm looking through if you asked a question earlier, responding to something that I said. I can't see it, maybe it's too far back. But other than that, congratulations! Welcome to Orange PC family, legit Denny. Um, you can also also you can contact your sales agent, your assigned sales agent, they should keep you tabbed or keep you posted on the status of the PC too. Uh, how about a 2500 budget still saving up though you can do a lot with 2500 you could probably go for something similar to this one um, different case obviously but you can definitely work with that that's a lot more um, 
stuff. I mean, the thing is, again, it says that storage space that you keep referring to. Storage, if you're going for SSD storage, it adds up. If you're going for hard drive storage, not so much. But SSD storage definitely adds up the price, or increases the price. Have a good stream and have fun, everyone. Thank you. Definitely bigger upgrade from the last one. Cool. RGB adds at least three FPS. Uh, oh, look, the RGB in the motherboard, you can still see it. Hey. There it is, guys. The jungle gyms. Two five two five PC build. If you look closely there, you can actually see the capture card, the Elgato capture card, and you can also see the EVGA sound card. So very cool stuff. Do you ship to EU, Sweden? We do ship worldwide. Just keep it in factor the shipping costs. It shows up at the end of the um, when you configure everything and you put down your location and your address. It shows up. Um. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What is this? Oh, that's RF RF remote. Fun fact: If for our Millennium and Genesis systems support RF remote technology, they allow you to actually change between the motherboard lighting versus the RF remote lighting. Because we actually have like a little chip all the way in the top of the thing that actually lets you customize the lighting of the RGB strips on the PC. It's very cool. Um, PJ's just here cycling through the colors. It's just going through the rainbow cycle. It's done. Let's go ahead and turn off the light. See how it looks in the dark. The darkness. I don't, like being in the dark with you. I don't like being in the dark with you. Hey, man. Hey, now I'm in the dark. Let me shut off my camera. Turn this camera off. There we go. And there it is, friends. There is Jungle Gym's PC with all the RGB lighting in the world. And actually, that EVJ card also has RGB lighting. How much RGB lighting is on this PC? I don't know. But the motherboard has RGB lighting. The cooler has RGB lighting. The sound card has RGB lighting. The case has RGB lighting. Does this, the RAM does not have RGB lighting, right? The frostbite's got RGB lighting? Yeah, the Frostbite has RGB lighting, but the RAM does not have RGB lighting. That would have been really put some icing on the cake with the RGB lighting. But there it is, friends. There is the full build. And for those of you that missed it, here are the specs. Please do not mind the typo. But there it is. A Origin PC Genesis. So it's a really, really tall. A uh, thousand watt EVGA Supernova. Supernova? Supernova. Fractical? Supernova G3 power supply, EVGA red sleeve cables, and Asus Z390E ROG Strix gaming motherboard with RGB lighting, as you can see there. I like that, seeing that little eye there. Um, Frostbite 360 all in one clear with now RGB lighting. Very cool. Intel Core i9 9900K, 3.6 gigahertz. I believe that is six cores. Yes. Let me confirm that before I start saying nonsense. Nonsense. Is it six cores? It is. No, it's eight cores. I'm wrong. I was wrong. It was eight cores. Haha. Um, what else? A 11 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU is not one gigabyte. That's a typo. 32 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM and 5.2, 5.5, not 5.2, 5.5 terabytes of storage space ranging from NVMe drives to SATA drives to an AI hard drive. And of course, Origin PC wouldn't create armor, so you can ship very safely in that. Warranty plus a lifetime 24 7 US based support and lifetime free labor. So if you need to do upgrades, don't go damage, ship it back. We gotta pay for shipping. That's the thing. And Windows 10. That is the build. PJ, how do you feel now that the build is complete? I feel uh, good because I can go back and jump on this ultimate project that I'm looking forward the to. The secret finishing. project. It's a very secret project. I wanna finish it so we can show it off soon. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, let me see. I'm gonna answer any questions you guys have. Let me put myself back on camera because now that the lights are on. I'll give you a clue. Hello. When you look at it, you're gonna go, oh my gosh. All right, let's see here. B A U T full. Can you dab? Ah, uh, well, PJ did. It's eight. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I'll donate if you play a game. Like an actual video game? I'll play a video game, why not? I'm playing a video game tomorrow, we're playing Dusk. Shipping, what's that? That's a lot of storage. Everyone's, everyone's, at once. All right, last words, PJ. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, PJ. Oh, hold on, hold on, you guys want a quote? Hold on. Is Maybe it stay in school? That's your usually go to. Usually stay in school? Yeah, you usually say stay in school if I say your final words and you My say stay in school. Final words are um, stay in school. Stay in school. Thank you, PJ. I can't think of anything else right now. I'm trying to think of different quotes next time. Um, as for me, I got a couple more things and I'm out of here. Um, tomorrow, it's big. It's a real big. We're going to be announcing the winner of the Origin PC Evo 16S Worldwide Giveaway with a PewDiePie laptop. RTX 2060 GPU. Um, Just so you know. And it posts. Congratulations, PJ. Um, we're announcing the winner tomorrow at 3 p.m. But as you recall earlier in the stream, I did mention we're going to be playing Dusk. We just got hit with a subscription. And that would be a Big Isaac 99. Thank you, Big Isaac. Appreciate it. Um, again, tomorrow we're going to be playing Dusk for two hours. And at the end of the stream, we're announcing the winner. So feel free to check that out. We just launched a new website and a new promo. You can go check it out. Long sale for a long a Memorial Day weekend. You get free U.S. ground shipping, a free external A-Data SSD. And we also have a new bundle with Ryzen CPUs and AMD Radeon GPUs. You can get uh, Division 2 Gold Edition and World War Z. Division 2 is really good. I like it a lot. That's a really good bundle. And of course, the Fortnite bundle will get a GTX 1660 or a 1660 Ti. Or if we get a laptop, the 1060 or 1070. But yeah, very cool stuff. You can check out OriginPC.com. And also check out our new website if you haven't already. It's very cool. Very clean. A lot of hard work put into it to make the PC customization so much easier for those of you unfamiliar with it. Um, there are no giveaways happening, surprisingly. No, right? No, no, no. But again, we're not seeing the winner tomorrow, and maybe we have other surprises too. I don't know. <laughs> again, uh, for those of you who donate during the stream, again, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. My uh, stomach uh, thanks you for that too. I had a lot of spicy stuff. It's very fun. Uh, you can check out our rewards and our challenges at bit.ly slash OPC play live. This, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a stream. Monday, we're going to be doing a stream. Tuesday, we're doing a stream. Basically, we're going to be streaming a lot. So if you like this stream, uh, we got some more coming up. A lot of gameplay streams, a lot of goofy streams. So raise money for St. Jude. Play live. Um, I think that's it. Um, I think that about covers it. Guys, that's that's it. There's the PC. We did it. Uh, any more questions we got here? is there a worldwide giveaway not now um that's it cool uh that's it my name is lewis i have been your host for this entire stream yabbering and yabbering and talking and talking and talking about pc stuff talking about answering questions and saying to you play live hashtag for the kids i hope to see you tomorrow for tomorrow's gameplay stream it's gonna be a big one you're a good cocky host thank you um, I will be talking some more and playing some more in this the very quake inspired dusk from the new bloods It's a very action heavy game. So if you want to see a good first-person shooter retro style tune in tomorrow um, But yeah Tomorrow is a winter announcement. I'm excited. I think you guys are too, but I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night guys